Wag wag lids, before this amazing episode of Have A Word, we need to tell you about our patron, which is one of the best patrons in world comedy. We are officially the fastest growing Patreon on the planet at the minute. Yeah. Fastest growing Patreon, and that's because for just three quid, five quid, or ten quid a month, you get an extra episode a week, early access to these public episodes, and access to the entire back catalogue of all the Patreon stuff we've done in the past, which includes... The specials, the ghost hunts... The lockdown lock-ins, which are now fucking legendary. Some of the live shows, it's the best money you will ever spend. The roast event oh, is yeah. going on Patreon oh, yeah. early in March. You get to see that. You also get early access to my tour tickets, Dan's tour tickets, live show tickets. And to be honest with you, live show tickets don't really last very long on Patreon. So if you're not a patron, you're probably not being able to come to any of them that we've put on recently. You're only going to get to be there if you sign up at patreon.com slash have a weird pod and join the 10,000 strong army of fucking lunatics. Migan. It's going to be one of them. Yep. Hiya, oh, yeah, you're right. What I'm good, actually, yeah. What happened, Adam? Two hours late, still pissed. It's Adam <laughs> Rowe! <laughs> no, 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 Fuck no, no, no. Two hours late. An hour and a half. No. I was an hour and a half late. You got here at 10 past. That's an hour and 40, actually. Yeah, but everyone's 10 minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> Just meet someone now. Settle down now. Yeah. Come on. Back to normal, please. <laughs> Fucking mad pissed Adam. <laughs> It's two, two mornings a week. That's all he has to do. <laughs> Fucking hell, lad. There's been a decapitation on the road. Oh, <laughs> mate. I've woken up in fucking... I nearly didn't even send you about the headline crash. I know, because we don't believe you. <laughs> 19 <laughs> dead, lad. There's, there's fucking Russian troops. Oh, my God. You're not going to believe it, lad. They've, the Russians have invaded exactly. Oh, mate. The fucking Ruskies are in witness now. They're on the water. Can see a warship. Oh. oh Easy here, though, today. isn't it? Do you know pink eye is? Yeah. So if someone farts on your pillow. <laughs> it's when... Is that the only way you it's can when, get it? It's when... Or pussy juice. Or you are... Uh, <laughs> uh, no. Someone pussy juice is on your pillow and you've no, got No, 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 no. It's bum juice. It's bum fluff, bum hair, bum fucking air. Or bum juice. Finn, can you Google, does pussy juice give you pink eye? <laughs> Just yeah, because that's what Google calls it, pussy juice. It's the medical term. What? You've been snuffling for bum truffles, <laughs> haven't you? Have you been snuff? Have you been eating bum bum? Who, no, eat I haven't, I haven't who eats bum bum just because you beat Leicester 6 0? Oh, was, fucking hell, we're going to win all, the title. It, 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 it's poo. It's which, poo. Which, I, I, I was behaving last night. Which absolute fucking goblin was at the bar going, ah. I'm a fucking red as well, Adam. <laughs> eat me, asshole. Do you want fucking red eye? We're going to win the league. You're a red. Have a red eye. Go on. Eat my bum bum. It is poo that causes it. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, Feet yeah, don't yeah. Matter. <laughs> it's also not sleeping well and boozing on a wet fucking Man, six nil. Going to win eyes? the league. I'm going to eat an ass. Here. Oh, Poo did you did you go for it? Did you go? <laughs> no, I haven't done anything. You've yeah. been doing something with poo. I I swear I haven't. My eye stays stays slightly ajar, especially if I'm drunk. And you both know this. This is actually ableist bullshit. What, so someone's oh, got so poo in your eye. It's airborne poo. <laughs> No, someone's dribbling poo in his eye when he's This is what I think happened last night. I think Adam was so pleased that they beat Leicester 6 0. Great. Leeds. Le was it Leicester or Leeds? Sorry, sorry. Leeds. Leeds. Beat Leeds. I've really yeah, fallen out of love. It. <laughs> you beat Leeds 6 0, and some fucking red supporting goblin was at the bar. Like, fucking Adam beat them 6 0. The title's back on Adam. Eat my ass. I think that's how she said it as well. And you were like, no, I don't want to get pussy juice in my eyes. She was like, don't worry. Dry as a bone. And here he is, no. an hour and a half late, and there was a decapitation on uh, near Egbeth. Fucking nightmare, I have to drive through it. <laughs> I was talking to a lady last night, actually, and she's also a listener. It, oh, hello. Mama. <laughs> she's not a, uh, we didn't do anything. Oh, oh you like, didn't do nothing. <laughs> didn't do no, nothing. not even that. You've done something with poo? <laughs> I didn't. You've done something with poo. <laughs> what the fuck? I sculpt a little, like... Like ghosts, but with poo. Marmite. You, you've, you've been... Anyway, hey, to, uh, is she a patron or a, a, just a listener? You didn't fuck a pube. 
Oh. I didn't fuck anyone. Oh, I did. I didn't. You've got to be better than that. Never fuck a few. <laughs> you fuck ten pound patrons, then five pound patrons, and you give them twenty percent more dick at ten pounds. You give them a little ten percent more extra at five pounds. Yeah, and you fuck pubes, but they only come three days later. You cannot eat the bottom of a pube. <laughs> No, you cannot eat the bottom of a pew. Of a pew. No, you cannot eat the bottom. <laughs> On a Wednesday, sir. You need to get yourself right down. Look, she was a very lovely lady. And nothing oh, happened. Oh, I, I refute it. Actually, actually, uh, Dan, not funny. Not funny. I refute it. I met a young lady and we were talking about the tactics of Jurgen Klopp. The attacking pressing football. And then we went back to a lovely little winery and we discussed that all evening. I said, do you enjoy the podcast, madam? She was like, Adam, I do. And let's have an Evian before we leave. <laughs> <laughs> and go home separately. Uh, before you leave, madam, can I eat your asshole? <laughs> and get my eyes right in there as well. Go on, Adam, get in there. Fuck the Evian. Just chomp on my bum bum. <laughs> Six nil, lad. <sighs> Uh, I was a perfect gentleman, actually. Oh, I'm, 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 like Wycliffe Jean. <laughs> <laughs> he loves eating ass. <laughs> Don't he? Does he? Oh, what, he? What is like famous banger? Uh, perfect gentleman. No. Gone till December. I'll be gone till September. Um, January, April. <laughs> 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 no, what is Do you remember? What is his fucking Ramstein? I forgot the months then. I don't know if you heard that. January, Wycliffe February, Jean. March, April, May. Um, ready or not was um, the Fugees, wasn't it? Ready or not, and you, me, 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 yeah, me, that's me. The ready or not, here I come. You can have uh, on his no, own. Nobody no, moves. Perfect gentleman, isn't it? On his own, it's perfect. I'm going to find nine eleven. Nine eleven. He did nine eleven. <laughs> well, there's a fucking new fact for me. Wycliffe Jean didn't did you know that nine eleven, like nine eleven, was orchestrated by Wycliffe Jean. Uh, is he from? Is he Haitian? I believe he's Haitian. He seems like I think he's from Haiti. He is. Oh, he's he, Haitian. He's in a Haitian American. One of the more famous Haitians. Name another one. Uh, Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow. <laughs> Haitian Barry Manilow. Really not a very well-known fact that, that Barry Manilow's a Haitian. Famous Haitians. Famous Haitians. <laughs> um, Barry Manilow. Uh, Haiti. It's literally just It's him. just White. It's just Wyclef Jean. Paul Larach. Sam from Emmerdale. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, no, he, uh, it says here, Sam from Emmerdale. <laughs> Not even his, his real name. Because <laughs> in Emmerdale, he's Haitian, but in real life, he's English. The guy who did the voiceover for Gladiators. What? <laughs> Is that a he's from oh, Haiti. I, oh, you weren't. Oh, I thought you meant John Fashionu then. He's, you know. No, no, the voiceover guy. Awooga. It's actually Haitian for hello. <laughs> <laughs> Finn's gonna laugh at everything because he was he was late as well. Finn's gonna oh, that was great, Dan. <laughs> so I love my job. I love my job. Drove from Wales, was only slightly later than Adam. Who to be I fair did drive past a siege. <laughs> this is a siege. There's a, a, fu a fucking siege near the SO garage. <laughs> Nightmare. Haitian mafia. Unexpected. Why Kef why Cliff John? Not there. Is it John? Wycliffe Jean. I thought it was Jean. They're French speaking, aren't they? Wycliffe Jeans. Wycliffe, Wycliffe Jeans. Jeans. They sound like something you get from the Officers Club. 70% off all the time. Um, Wycliffe Jeans. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be able to get them at the leather shop. We do a leather shop. We, do all, leather. Dover. we all do Wycliffe, Wycliffe Jeans. Jeans. Oh, nicely done. <laughs> nicely done. The white Dover. Jeans of Dover. Tap in there. Tap in. I love that. Well, you, that wasn't a tap. You fucking belted that in. That's why, oh, he's, right, that's right. why he's called White, because he was born in Dover. And then he moved there. Oh, he's Haitian. He moved there. Oh, Haitian right, American. yeah. The famous... <laughs> the famous Haitian... Dover to Haiti. Ha 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 From Dover to Haiti. <laughs> you know, Haiti. This goes out. Yeah, yeah. My heart is Pumping for John. Pumping for Right, so Ready or Not was not the biggest Fuji song. The it other was. one was... Killing Me Softly. Killing Me Softly, no, that the biggest which is featured on two Dave Chappelle specials. K Killing Me Softly was the, the big one. Ready or Not was like their second banger. Yeah. Killing Me Softly, the music video, she's in a cinema, isn't she? Wycliffe's in a state of sleep, thinking about the robbery that, that I, I did, did last, last week. week. That is right, isn't it? What? She's in a cinema and Killing Me Softly. Killing Me Softly. Why don't oh, they do music videos oh, anymore? Oh, oh, 
What? I always think I want, want to do music videos anymore. They do. You just, they don't, do, you just don't watch them, mate. Oh, everyone. Watch everyone still does music videos. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh really? Sean yeah. Paul. Um, <laughs> the list goes else. on. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Paul and the rest. Et al. MTV had a little sniff at us. What? MTV, yeah. Yeah, Will Hutchby, who does a lot of our videography, had a conversation with someone he knows that works at MTV. And they were like, why they love interested. what they're doing, love what they're doing. Really interested in what they're doing. And then asked our ages and went, ah, yeah, too old. Too old. <laughs> How sad's that? Listen, ah, I'm so sorry, any... boys. If you want to fuck me off and get some MTV guap. <laughs> If there's any MTV producers watching, here we right go. Now. Here we go. I really, I really, we, we had a mission. We were, dum, 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 dum. Go on, Adam. Let him know. Let him know. Suck a fart out of my <laughs> asshole. Yes. We don't want you. Dum, dum, we dum, don't dum. need you. What does MTV dum, stand for? More dum, telly. Dum, dum, dum. Vacuous stuff. Right. Okay. And we're going to rewind. We'll cut that out. And we're going to do that again. You just work out what hey. it's an anagram for. Oh, then do it. No, 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 no. Most terrible visual. Yes, 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 yes. Right. Uh, go again. Dum, dum. Mainly terrible dum, 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 dum. vision. Dum, dum. Do you want to do it again? <laughs> want to do it a third time? Because I know you've got this. You're still pissed. You're full of ass. I can smell it off your nose. Oh. Come on. I can smell drab bum bum on your cheek, man. Oh, no. Oh, no one French kissing this motherfucker. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Wycliffe. Think about the rubbery. Teeth. Go on. I know. You've not brushed your eyes. Cheeks. <laughs> Did you wash all of your face? Soif eagle, lad. <laughs> Go on, MTV. I'm a soif eagle, lad. Go on. Fuck, go on, do it. Dum, dum. MTV. Yeah. Slag them off. I know you've got it. MTV. Dum, dum. Everyone who works dum, there, your dum, mum dum, is dum. a cum guzzling dum, whore. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> <laughs> like that? Dum, dum. Dum, 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 dum. VH1, mate. I've dragged us to VH1, haven't I? That's At fine. 40. Kerrang. <laughs> wow. I don't think Kerrang is meant to be said in your accent. Kerrang. <laughs> <laughs> Kerrang. Sorry. It's, it isn't Kerrang like metal. Goths. If we could pick a channel that we would put have a word on and tell you what, where would we go? Bloomberg. I reckon Sky News. A music channel or any channel? Any channel. Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera. <laughs> they fucking love us. QVC. <laughs> they're, silly, they're really silly suggestions, Carl. I think don't. Al Jazeera would be fucking great. QVC selling our podcast to be a ladies. Though. It's not just a podcast. It's a really popular podcast. And there's only I, uh, 13 listens left at this price. Oh, now it's 12. Get in now. Get a free power mop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. QVC and JML are the same company, aren't they? JML is sick. Yeah. I'd like JML be... speed mop. Mop, but <laughs> faster. I'd like to be one on, on one of the African religious channels. They seem great. They seem really good. When... They're JML speed mop. <laughs> mop, but faster. That's not the religion. You've just done African QVC there, haven't you? <laughs> Have you never seen, have you, have you, on the sky's got the religious bit and there's, oh, praise of the Lord. All you have to do is stand up and give us the money. Yeah, because Jesus, he wants you to give us the money. Do you reckon Jesus would be a patron? Wow. He had 12 patrons. Wow. Not been for a while, but. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Carl was like, I've had, I've had enough of African no, Jesus QBC. had 12 patrons. Hang on. Adam, how many patrons did Jesus have? <laughs> Probably about 12. I did that joke about a month and a half ago. No. Yeah? Do it oh, again. Shite. <laughs> Was she fit? Was she fit? Ready or not? <laughs> Last night. The girl whose bums are going to be nice. I, we, we, I was a gentleman. We didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. You just put your own bum on your own eyes. Should have worn goggles. Safe sex for you is... <laughs> she poked me in the eye. That's why my eyes were With an With a dick. <laughs> What a surprise. I was the perfect gentleman. So was she. <laughs> <laughs> we, like, genuinely. Hey, hey. Right, have that's some, enough. Have some respect now. <laughs> <laughs> you came in two hours late with poo all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think this was going your way? Did you honestly think we were sat here for an hour and a half having a meeting with Spotify that you weren't here? Okay, I nearly went, yeah. Steve was sat there like, all right. <laughs> She was like, lovely to meet you. I was like, this is Adam. Doesn't matter. You've definitely not watched it anyway. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. That would brilliant. be really funny. If to Spotify, you presented Steve with me and just doubled down and tripled down. No, this is Adam. Yeah, yeah. No, he's lost a lot of I weight. Honestly, yeah. I don't think she was. She was just like, Jink, we, it's fine. It, we would have got away with it. Dan. We would have got away with what it. What JML product would you invent? <laughs> yeah? Are you going to hurt your fucking Dad, wrists? Dad, 
hand grenade. <laughs> I had uh, the um, the uh, face cleaner that's specifically for ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. The specific. bum wipe. The bum wash. The bum wipe. You can't use it on your bum. It's, your it's, it's more delicate than that, but it's also vigorous. Gets that... The face bee day. Hint of ass off your cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> what is JML? I generally don't know what it's it is. It's the people in, like, they make, like, oh, this mop, like, flies. <laughs> it's... You know, you never the fly mop? You never watch QVC at, like, six in the morning. Or like four in the morning when it's like, do you need the speed map? I can clean my nan's house from 40 yards away. Oh, right. This right, right, right. is the ceiling map. It's like a normal map, but it's upside down. <laughs> yeah, normal like a- maps can't normally go upside down, but with this map, you'll be having clean ceilings all the time. And then, like the person who's using the old maps, like, or like water on the face. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just so sort of bleach in the eyes. Damn you, gravity! Like a Japanese woman in Godzilla when you did that. And then she falls. <laughs> If you've ever tried to mop your ceiling, you could kill your nana. <laughs> Dead nana. Yeah, yeah. But, JML, but it's the upside down anti-gravity mop. Anti-gravity mop. For when yeah. you want to mop your ceiling. <laughs> JML. But they make shit like that. Right, okay, cool. I've seen dusters that are like, this duster gets in every nook and cranny. Except I've never dusted anything in my fucking life. But they're like, but someone... We need, yeah, it's like a special design. Love dusting. It goes round corners. Oof. JML. The bendable duster. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. That was so, like, I know you were trying to take the piss, but that was so, like, the cadence of how they speak. The JML. Bendable. The bendable duster. The bendable duster. Let's yeah. Google best JML products. Sounds like a bisexual cleaner, not gonna. The ghost chef, eight in one cooker. You can cook your nan. <laughs> cook chicken, pies, chips, and rice. And salad. You can cook <laughs> your salad. Have you ever thought salad was cold? Well, you need it. <laughs> Warm. <laughs> you never thought salad was cold. <laughs> anyway, is that in it? <laughs> we oh hang on, what was that? We what thought that we thought you might doing? like this. What is that woman doing? Do in the your middle knees of it? ever get sweaty? Contour legacy leg pillow. Oh, if you've <laughs> ever bought a leg pillow, walk into the sea and end your life. The oh. hurricane spin scrubber. There we go. Look, <laughs> the hurricane spin scrubber. Oh, mighty sight glasses. You can see through walls for twenty pounds. <laughs> The hurricane spin scrubber, <laughs> that is for ass face, isn't it? <laughs> I need that. What about the four in one chopping board? The fast thaw. The four in one no, chopping no, board. No, guys, 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 read it properly. The fast thaw, four in one chopping board. So you've got frozen meat, that will thaw it extra quick while no. you're chopping it. And then you get You put milk. your meat on the chopping board, and in minutes, the chicken goes from frozen to choppable. <laughs> it's, gr- it's a grill and a chopping board. <laughs> Cutting in the pan. Yeah, I used to chop and then grill. Now I do it at the same time. Just <laughs> yeah, wait around. Cook it and cut it. Just <laughs> yeah. chop and then grill. Just cut an ice cubes up. Fry that ice cube in. What Who's the grilling mi- ice cubes? <laughs> <laughs> what do the mighty sight glasses do? They magnify everything. Buy one, get one half price. Is that pair, pair oh, or man. for the eyes? They've got, they've got lights on the side of the... Th- they're already those pedo cycling glasses, and then they've got like If you put those on, you Ooh. instantly get three kids. Great for sewing repairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sold. JML. There was a lad in front of me at the match last night who had binoculars. Oh, I saw that on Twitter. Oh, he needs to die as well. Pets. But, like, we were laughing, and then I... <laughs> so he had binoculars, and I was like to Josh, I was like, you're fucking binoculars, lad. I actually got that. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. on. And the lad next to us is like so scouse and Liverpool fan. And he Could you turn that off, Carl? Could you turn the screen off? He's like, what are you, what are you laughing? I was like, and we were all like, oh my god, as if he's brought binoculars to the match. And then after half time, the scouse lad next to us went to him, make sure you get your binoculars out for this half lad. We're attacking the other end now. <laughs> and he turned round and he was so nearly blind. <laughs> I felt so bad. Oh. He went. I've got really bad eyes. If I haven't got binoculars, I might as well not be here. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. All right, lad. All right, end of the banter. I saw it on Twitter. Who's the lad that tells... There's a blind guy that goes to Liverpool, quite oh, famous, isn't he? That, yeah. And his best mate... Stevie yeah, Wonder is. Uh, he's in got the a corporate co- ticket to season ticket. Stevie Wonder. Right. Yeah. Dan didn't know his name. What? Dan didn't know his name. What's his name? Steve <laughs> Steve Wonder. It's Stevie Wonder. Last night when Salah was taking his penalty, the whole stadium was like silent and still apart from Stevie. Just fucking... <laughs> hey! And, and, go on. Do you Stevie Wonder? that song. Do you Stevie Wonder? Hey! What's happening? <laughs> Are you the whistle? 
No, there's a lad that takes his. There's a blind lad that takes his mate, and he and he. <laughs> you're a fucking state, mate. Go on. He's, he's laughing. It's not me. I heard the whistle was good. Are you listening? Well, I wanted to. I want to know who the blind. There's a blind know, guy who's a, se- a season ticket holder, and, someone and his best the mate. I've seen the videos on Instagram reels, and as everyone's going fucking mental in the cop, he's like fucking banged it in from the right. Fucking oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tut, yeah. Tut, and he and the blind guy's like, you can see the joy in his face because his best mate is giving him the instant audio description. Oh yeah, mate, I the, love stuff a, like there's that. There's a video of him getting a shirt off Salah, so him and his carer slash mate or whatever. So he stood there with his mate. And Salah's coming with, like, shirts. And he goes, yeah, lad, Salah's coming here. He's got two shirts signed as well. And he goes, has he, yeah? It's nice. Is it right? He's <laughs> just so, like, yeah. not... He goes, has he, yeah? It's nice. It's a meme now, isn't it? Is it right? <laughs> He's so, like, dead, pal. Like, I don't know. Has he, yeah? It's is it right? <laughs> and then it's used as, like, a meme now. Yeah. So if Liverpool score, it's like, oh, Salah's got his 20th goal of the season. People will put, oh, has he, yeah? It's right. <laughs> <laughs> Was it oh. definitely Salah? Was it not like, you know, Javi Moreno? Salah's coming here. Salah has scored four is it? penalties in two games against Leeds at Anfield. Fact. It's well known fact. Good fun. That was good. Good fun fact. I um, love that fact. My birthday. Happy. Uh, well, you shut up about that now. No. So that's why it was 15 it's minutes late. Oh, it's not it's like, like, it's like April Fools. It's it is. not. It is. After midday, no one can say happy birthday. Your birthday is dead and gone, and you're the fool for fucking going on about it. Uh, Carl, we're not doing birthday presents here at the. We're not doing birthday presents. I mean, Adam's not doing Christmas presents anymore. But is anyone? <laughs> that's not happening, by the way. The tour started. He's like, oh lad, I've had a fucking nightmare with your Christmas presents, in the sense that there was a fucking siege <laughs> at Amazon. And yeah, some people got decapitated and your Christmas present got shot in the head. <laughs> Russians, bastards. Um, we're not doing birthday it's presents. because He's going to feel really guilty in about three days. Is it on his way? Yeah. It's, it's February. It's going to be March. It's meant to be a birthday present. Is it on his way? Yeah. Well, that'd be nice. Uh, well, <laughs> what are you saying? No, it actually is. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. We're not Merry doing Christmas. Presents, so. Every uh, We're not doing birthday presents. We're not doing birthday presents. I felt a little guilty when you came in and I'd forgotten your, your birthday. I've got your birthday presents. I've took, a, oh, pi- yeah. I've took yeah. a nice picture of you looking like a sex offender on the couch. Thank you. And I put that on Twitter. Oh, yes. Yeah, I've you and Seneca a whore. You can do what you want with her. <gasps> when do we get her? What? When? On the nice of your person. We know someone who works in comedy. Um, <laughs> like, we know his, someone who's a whore. His... <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? We... we we know someone, I can't literally not going to say his name, but his old missus, they used to get uh, prostitutes together. That was uh, one of the things to do. Uh, his his, his ex mate No, we're not doing that with you in the condition. No, just tell me what I'll it is. I'll dub it. I can't get that close to your face, I'll mate. dub it over. <laughs> just tell me what it is. Um, it doesn't matter. The, it does, the, of the, course it matters. The, the fun is that they were that sexually promiscuous that she was like, do you know what I want for my birthday? A sex worker. Can you oh, Alex Baldwin. Yeah, I know a man who gets <coughs> rent boys with his boyfriend who's a comedian. Yeah. So do you? Yeah, but it's gay rules. What gay rules? What? <laughs> That's different gay rules. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's not like, oh my God, gay men do loads of dirty shit. Yeah, of course they do. They're into it. Well, They're allegedly. Not allegedly. Mate, but like, it's a different. They are if you take. A but if you take women out of it, like, oh yeah, loads of men, they're just like, fuck loads. You're like, yeah, of course. Yeah. But it's more intrigue when it's like a, a, a couple and they were. At the point where we were like, guess what I want for my birthday? A sex worker. Keen. Jesus. Is he a sex worker? I mean, you'd hire him, wouldn't you? Is that, was. Is that something you're interested in? Because we'll whip, we'll do, I don't know if you can get a sex worker on the company card, but I'll fucking try. You can. <laughs> as long as we film it. Yeah. We just can see if she's a guest. Would you oh. be into it? What do you think Sarah is going to say? I think she'd be up for it. Do you reckon? <laughs> yeah. No. Is she I, I reckon she would be. Is if Carl was into it, I reckon like, gangbangs are on, on for them. On the table. Mm. I'll try it once. It's my favourite stroke song, and that's how we live our life. <laughs> well, it was either... Ta- <laughs> that's how we found out he likes pesto. <laughs> it was either Thai fusion or a sex worker. Let's do something for the first time. All right, cool. Why not? Would you try well, it once, like sexually? Like if a woman like put it on, yeah. 
She was like, I want to do this. Would you just give it a go? Uh, when you're single and you're fucking around, that's there's some people that you never feel like doing that with, though, aren't Like, it's weird when you meet someone, you have that chemistry where you're like, oh, you're going to bring the dirty out of me and I'm going to, like, I don't know if, if this is the same for everyone, but I've been with some girls in my past that I'm like, oh, you almost like, it brings the dirty out of you. And then there's other people that you're with I'm not asked. I don't know. It's the chemistry that you've got with someone. If in the past I've been with like one girl I can think of from way back, we, I'd have tried anything. There was something about what we had together where she'd be like, I want to kidnap a penguin and try and shove it up my ass. I'd be like, all right, why do you want to do that? Let's like, the let's go to the zoo. Like I, we had just a weird chemistry where she, at one point I remember we like, Oh, we tried to do the weeing on each other. And Dan doesn't oh. want to do this, but he's too far into the story. No, like, like I can't do wee on each water sport. <clears throat> there was just a, it, there was something about her that made me go, yeah. And then I've most of the other girls I've been with, like especially now with Laura. No, did I'm she not wee on bothered. you, or did you wee on her? When uh, we on her, did a bit you of on her in the bath. Was it a morning wee? <laughs> no, we didn't. <sighs> like, <laughs> Seven a.m. She's like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. First thing, like oh. I'm going for a lie down in morning, the bath. Morning, morning, morning. <laughs> Do you want a croissant? Oh, I'll tell you what I want. Well, a I morning wee like all six over my leg. They've like minutes as well. I'm like orange. <laughs> so evil and dehydrated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Imagine doing a barocca piss sexually like, onto a woman. Oh, no. You need a, like... a barocca piss? No, oh, that sort of thing. Have you never had a barocca piss? <laughs> Is it a thing? Yeah, when you have a barocca, your wee goes like a luminous orange. Oh, does it, you, yeah? You, you, your piss looks like the thing Homer juggles in the opening curtains of The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. I need to try that. And if you eat broccoli, it tastes like broccoli. But in porn, when they're doing all the weeing and everything, they're like massively hydrated, aren't they? They're on like Diora light and, yeah, so yeah, like and all of that shit. Yeah. No one wakes up and goes, I'm into piss. Like, you, you'd have to be specifically really freaky to be like, yeah, I'm not just into water sports. I'm into first thing in the morning, kidney infection water sports. That's what I'm into. Like a wee <laughs> that smells like bread bacon. Would that put you off though? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. First date you with an eight, an eight point five. She's got tattoos, tits, got a pussy, and she <laughs> she goes to you, look, Jesus, like she's just you've, the bread has just arrived in the Italian restaurants. They brought the bread out, and she goes, look, a bit of a deal breaker for me. I love getting pissed on, but like bit of a deal in the morning, <laughs> like seven a.m. Hangover piss. That's my game. Are you into it? Because if you're not, we might as well just. Not even get the chiritto <laughs> from the Italian restaurant. Um, this anti pasty. If your anti pissy, it's we're the, not having anti pasty. Oh dear. It's and Claire Baldwin. I, I, I feel like you're not necessarily in the condition where I can do. But is Laura gone? No. She's on the table. Would you have an affair? Oh no. Yeah. Oh, that's not no. I'm and then I'm a big no because I'm a committed man. You see. Okay, so Laura's gone. I'd never eat antipasti with another woman. Laura has moved <laughs> to Tesco. Right, not, not far because she's fell in love with Freddie Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd be so fucking angry. Oh my god, I would leave. I would rather she was a lesbian or went to Mozambique with Leroy. How fucking good would he be if she was like, listen, I've got something to tell you. I've met someone, and you know him. I just love roast jokes. And he's outside, and you can hear him going, ab, rab, 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 rab. Oh, my God. I want to steal your message. I'd be fuming. Would I then Would I then be with the first thing you? in the morning, piss girl? <laughs> yeah. No. I don't like it. But I, don't, I genuinely don't. Water sports does nothing for me. See, I like watching it, but I don't think I want to be involved. I don't even like, honestly, it's just the, the reality of like, this is grim. I don't know what anyone's getting from it. Yeah, but that's because I'm not into piss. that mental stuff. So I, I'm not, there's no, I'm not You've trying to understand shame. what people get from it. Yeah, it's degrading. It's like yeah, it's the same and as- And getting to do the degrading. Like, it's the same as just on the, the modern face, world. You know, women essentially run the world now and they get all the advantages. So getting to piss on one every now and then is just us taking back some control. Fact. Well known fact, well known fact. That's a very. Uh, there's a lot of feminists are like now. We've got yeah. so much, yeah. too much equality. Yeah. We've got too much power. A lot of feminists are like, please piss on me, <laughs> just yeah. to level it out. Yeah, that um, extra thirty pence. Ali Wong's special has got an amazing thing about um, uh, as a very powerful, wealthy yeah. influencer. She enjoys having <laughs> like her husband come on her face. So, uh, 
Like, I really like Ali Wong's stand-up. It's just out on Netflix. Go and watch that first 10 minutes because by your third special in comedy, you can start being not as good. I've seen there's some stand-ups are just brilliant, but I've seen a lot of comics get to the third special in five years and they're losing quality. Ali Wong has got massively famous. She's fucking huge in the States. She's in films. Always pregnant and she that, a special. But the third one, she's not. Right. And it, the first 10 minutes basically culminates in her talking about, imagine what it's like. He's like, I am the breadwinner in this family and I'm letting you with your $40,000 a year dick jizz on my face. <laughs> like it's such a fucking good bit. She's so good and so dirty and clever. I love that stand-up that is clever. Dating. It's closing the frog funny, but fucking uh, like smart as well. Um, but j- uh, even the jizzing on the face, I'm like, I don't, I don't, not into I don't it, no? get, nah, I don't get it. Oh, I, 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 I not that I don't get it. I'm not completely baffled by it, but it's just never Do something. You get that's... like why Lewis Hamilton sprays the champagne when he finishes first. It's just the same thing. It's exactly the same. It is though. It's it a celebration. The... It's like way. Yeah, because what cause what is he degrading the fucking podium? Who's getting degraded? He's degraded in second and third, then he? Fuck off. Well, so why do they get champagne Eight as points, well? Seven points, ten. Yeah, but right. they, they, By they, the way, all the Formula One fans who just went, oh, it's 25, 18, and 15. I feel your pain <laughs> because I just felt it as well. Um, they do get champagne, but they don't get as good as champagne, do they? Well, they get just they get like a, a, they a get Tesco like Prosecco. Yeah, yeah. And he gets very of clique. Oh, Adam showing uh, he doesn't know where world championship points in Formula One, but he knows his fucking champers. They're not that much different. No, they're not that much. They finish second and third. They're not going to give them fucking Carver. Third gets um, Lamborghini. <laughs> not even fizzy. <laughs> Pause it off. Flat Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't. <laughs> uh, can I have Lamborghini? But Lamborghini still, please. No, I, I, don't, I don't. You, you, you on the face fan? I don't get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, no, oh, really? yeah. Oh, really? Everyone's a fan of the face. If a girl's ever like come on my face, I'm happy. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> But last night you were the perfect gentleman, though, weren't you? I, I mean, last night she was I like, was. I just want to talk about the tactics and the chance of you know success in Europe and domestically. Watch this. <laughs> she will be, won't she? Hello, is your bum clean? Damn. Um, who's your biggest sporting thing? <laughs> NFL. Fucking. Has Carl become a Christian? Um, <laughs> Would you have been an NFL player, but you lose every Super Bowl you get to? So, like, be an F1 driver, but fit, always finish third, or be, like, a Premier League player, but always finish fifth? So, if I had a choice to map out a career as a sportsman, you never win a... So, like, you'd always you never win a final. Ch- you'd always you never win a me. championship, or no. you never win a race. No, you win races, but you never you never get what you want. You never win a never championship. Win the title. You never win the Super Bowl. You never win the divisions, whatever it is. I know what it is. Never it's like that. signing for Everton. Yeah, we should, have, we should have been an Everton player. I mean, the, those two sports are very dangerous, aren't they? So, though, like, it's... It, okay, Formula well, One, you, it, you, you can die. Balls, you then? can die in Formula One. You can get balls. your spleen fucking knocked through your throat in... Okay, well, in then, what NFL. about Bills? Can I Bills, just answer the fucking question, you <laughs> massive <laughs> lump? Bills? Is um, it Bills or Bowls? I would, because I think it's still an amazing fucking career. I would right. absolutely do it. 10, 12 years at the top of your game. But, but it, it would be massively frustrating to get to every Super Bowl and not win it would be fucking It'd be really annoying ridiculous. knowing, like in the Super Bowl, knowing your case like that. And you're in the Super Bowl and you're like, oh. can't even tell anyone, but you're like, oh. We'll but if lose. this if this imaginary set, do you actually know that you're going to no, lose no. everyone? Oh, you're right, just okay. always the bridesmaid, never the bride. No, I'd still, yeah. Being a, being a professional sportsman must be fucking amazing until you don't get to do it anymore and then it looks like dog shit, doesn't it? Yeah, sad. Like I'm, I'm 40 and my career in podcasting is just starting. Like I look at some of the, the guys who are retired from what they do, and it's just grim, isn't it? Not many of them get media gigs. Yeah, or coach gigs. Yeah, there's just not that many jobs, is there? But then, and then I respect guys like Ben Foster for making it happen for themselves because he's going to be what two, two years away from retirement. He must be late 30s by now. He's been a really good Premier League, and he's already got a really good podcast. And he's, he's made. Uh, a, 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 a way for himself like we have in podcasting I just don't think there's a lot of sportsmen that do I that. love watching Ben Foster play football because like when he makes a ridiculous save he's always like <laughs> you fucking see that 
I was, I was sick then. Like he's always got like a proper smile on his face. He's always like happy to be involved. Yeah, and also how many like you watch interviews after a game, and some some footballers are. I know they're trained to be like dull, so they don't have anything in the headlines or anything. But Ben Foster can go on Jack Mate and hold his own. Yeah, mm. I watched that episode because he's obviously a, a bit of a Watford legend. Uh, like a not a full on legend, but he's like really popular with Watford fans because he was there uh, on loan years ago, and then his career didn't quite hit that height, and then he came back to what he's been with us for ages, and he was great on it. So, yeah, yeah, he's got the chance. dues, man. I, I would love to. Of course, we'd all you love. You'd love to be a professional sports player, but to have your career ended at thirty four because you're just done, that's got to be hard, man. Yeah, you're young at thirty four. If I said now. And wave a magic wand and you've got ridiculous football and ability. And you get to play for Wofford this year in the FA Cup final. Wofford gets the FA Cup final and you get to score the winner. I've got PTSD from that one we watched together when we were, we were all in the pub. Me, Adam, Jack, and just loads of Liverpool fans. No Man City fans. And just people sort of like looking over as I was like, ah! ah so we go for the game of, me. We go for the game of five sides on the Heath here in Runcom. Yeah. And as a Wofford scout... And he comes up to you, he's like, lad, you can really play. Hang on. Wow, you can really play. <laughs> wow, you can really play. They went kick, kick, kick. <laughs> and so then, he was at, just in run corner at the Heath, was he? He was here. He's just come to the famous cafe for lunch. He was at the gym. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he sees you and he's like, fucking hell, how's no one spotted you? Well. And you, you, he says, look, we need a new number 10. We need a centre attack and mid. Oh, creative, creative. Yeah. Like my generation, Get a Jarry, you. you know, we need... <laughs> We need the new. Did you say Delafayette? Delafayette. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, isn't it? He's a winger. No, it's. Oh, no, but he played across that. Oh, let's not line. get bogged down. The guy's in Runcorn. It's kind of talent. Yeah. This guy. And he goes, I'll give you a six month contract. See how you get on. You're 40. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting six years, are you? No. So we'll give you the go. We'll see how you get on. Right. Waffle gets the FA Cup final, led by your um, heroics. Oh, wow. You scored the winner in the FA Cup final in a 4 3 win. Against Rotherham and United. Oh, I can't like it. Right. United. Ben Foster, United are three in the up. You pull it back to three all. You come on for the last five minutes and it's like, you're just going to have to do extra time, lad, but it doesn't even go to extra time because corner comes in. It's headed out. You're at the edge of the box. Top in. Scorpion right, cool. King. And in this uh, fantasy, is Freddie Quinn still fucking my missus? <laughs> He's oh, in golf United. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> my God. Um, would you swap the podcast and you entice you can never do stand up or podcasting again for that moment? I mean, no, no, yeah. I'm, I and I, I know that sounds like ridiculous. You would really have to come up with a mental set of circumstances that I'd give this up. I'm not even and that, and that isn't mental. <laughs> this is how fucking. This is how much this means to me. And also my stand-up, because I'm excited about my tour. Last night I went to do new material after doing the Green Room podcast with Tony Carroll and Jamie and did 10 minutes, 12 minutes of new stuff in front of a load of our lids. And I had as much fun on stage doing brand new stuff and a couple of bits uh, that I've been practicing. And I felt it. I was like, oh, I am tuned in at the moment. And then to come here and fucking smell you. Ah. This is, thing. Th no, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't. Do you remember last year or? But I, I would not give that. I've, I wouldn't give it up. Do you remember last year when you were starting to fall out of love with her? What? Can't no, he wasn't falling out of love. No, but I mean, like, you felt were, you out were in of the tune. Yeah. That's what he's talking but about. You used to come in and be like, ah, I'm not feeling it anymore. The, the baby being born, me not gigging enough, then I got COVID. And it's also like having Adam as your, your, the, your colleague, it's. It's hard because I was like, oh, Adam's gigging 19 times a week. And I knew if I was gigging 19 times a week, I'd be tuning up. And I was doing the opposite. I was gigging less than I'd ever, but that's come back round. Like, and that's great because Adam's tours now and my tours in another seven months. So I've got time. But yeah, I'm j not even just the podcast. I wouldn't give up stand up. But I'm having a fucking great time. So Watford, I love the horn. Oh, come on, you won't. But I'm not giving it up. This is too good. This is more my dream than that is. Yeah. This is, this is dream job. I would it? literally have my little brother die to score the Champions League final win and go. If they were like Jack dies, you never see him again. You have to organise a funeral, but you can score the winning goal in St. Petersburg. Fair, in fair to say Jack's been shot on a little bit recently, hasn't it? Like, <laughs> I love him so much. accused of being a paedophile. 
Yeah. Two episodes ago. 100%. Not even the, fun- the funeral wouldn't happen. No. I'd be like, sort it out. I'm going to Moscow. And then getting the train to St. Steve, Steve. <laughs> Steve, could you sort, could you get on funeral directors, Steve? Are they moving it? They're moving the final, aren't they? After the fucking. They reckon they're moving it because Russia did. Um, being naughty. There's some sort of world war or something happening. I haven't really looked into it. No. Um, but it was they real. reckon it's going to be Paris, Milan, or Wembley. And my Liver- my first Liverpool tour date is the day before the Champions League final. And if Liverpool are in it, I'm going to come off stage, go to Manchester Airport and fly to wherever it is. Even with or without a ticket. A fly to London. Yeah. Yeah, but no, you go without a ticket. Absolutely, yeah, of course you do. Oh, if it's if it's in Wembley, then I'll, I'll literally just pay someone to drive me down that night yeah. and wake up in London the next day and just... Just but I think it's going to be Milan. I think it's going to be the San Cedo, and Liverpool have already won there twice this season. But I know we don't do loads of footy on this, but there's a bit of a sort of mood around Liverpool at the minute, like a really good mood. And I feel there's a, a tweet that stayed with me. So Liverpool were ten points behind Man City in December, and there was a tweet I seen at the time, um, and it was just after I don't know whether we played Everton second or United second, but it was after one of those games, and it was. Uh, there's absolutely no way Liverpool beats a Rafa Benitez managed Everton like that at Goodison. Uh, or Mo Salah goes to Old Trafford and gets a hat-trick and it gets to the end of the season, it means nothing. And I've when we were 10 points behind City in December, I was like, oh, Liverpool are done. We've got no chance of the title. And Alfie Brown, back in December, said to me, it's going to be fine. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, City are going to win every game up until they play Tottenham and they're going to lose to Tottenham. And he said, and then they'll draw with Everton the week after as well. And that is Liverpool's gateway back into the race. And they, they lost to Tottenham. It's a pity they're get, not getting a point against City. I, said, I, will eat, I will eat your ass. Please don't record that. I, I said it on the live stream, watching Alfie Brown watch Liverpool is one of the most fun things I've done in the last six months. Because you're like, come on, fucking out! In the pub, what's the pub called? The Flute. The Flute. Very... Scat like they, it, the screens were everywhere. It's just a Liverpool pub uh, with the it's game quite on. Studenty, the flutes. Yeah, it didn't, yeah. Feel, it didn't feel studenty that day. No, though, so it? it's very it studenty was... and old Scouse man. Right, and the students had gone home because it was the nineteenth yeah. of December. So it just felt like just old Scousers. A couple of lids waiting to come into hot water, and you could just hear come on, you know, like football sounds like fucking out. Come on. Get it, go on! Like that, like in a Scouse accent from different parts in the pub. And then you could hear Alfie like, oh, come, come on! Goodness me, ah! Oh, damn! It's just amazing. He sounds like a trained actor, like playing the role of, you're, uh, Alfie, you're going to really commit to this role. You're going to be Liverpool fan number three. You're in the pub, you've had a few pints of beer, and you're getting into it. Fucking yas! I love it, it was yes. so good. Yes. He wasn't, he, he, he just sounded so... It's really, not Scouse. It's really He's a funny. massive Liverpool fan. So Alfie, I I don't know many people who care as much about Liverpool's results as I do, and I'm including some season ticket holders. Oh, he's diehard, isn't he? But he, he cares as much, if not more, than me. Um, and it's uh, well, that's so, like as 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 good of a comic as he is, and I am, and we've sort of we we like each other's work. Me and Alfie became mates because of Liverpool and watching the Liverpool games during the fringe at the Three Sisters in Edinburgh. We were just literally stood within the same five yards of each other watching every Liverpool game. I was like, I like that. Comedian, you right here. Yeah, yeah, And then the next time... Is that like, how you met? Li- literally. See, that's why I'd, I remember reading that F- Frank Skinner quote, like, you should support, you should literally get a map, see your house, and wh- whichever ground is closest to your house, that is the team you should support. And I don't buy it, because I'm from Preston and I supported Watford. Alfie has got family from Liverpool, but whatever. His mum's a like, scouser, yeah. But like... Going off that, he should have picked a London team because that's where he got. You should pick whoever you want to pick, so and I, then support them like Alfie supports Liverpool. So I, I think you should either support your local team or your family team. So that's a, a, a little twist on the Frank Skinner thing. I think it should be either it's in your blood from your your dad's like, oh, we support these. Doesn't matter that we live here now, we support these, or it's your local one. Oh, not my. Or you just pick a team. And fucking support them. Because what if you're from Carlisle and you like like love fucking Liverpool? You love watching them on TV, you love watching them in Champions League. Yeah, I'm not like, I'm not begrudging like, that. I'm just saying I like, think there's nothing wrong with then if you're a proper fan, you're a proper fan. The international fans, I love it when they're mad into it. Good on them. Yeah. Liverpool was great last night after the match. 
I went into town, went to Pogues uh, for a few guineas. And a few bum holes. <laughs> how did you, like, you set us up. It's almost like, hello. Oh, Adam, I'm a uh, fan of the podcast. That's not ass. what happened. Blah, 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 blah. There was bits in between, but that's how it started and that's how it, it ended. It isn't. Hey, well, I'd like to give a shout out to this young lady. Big fan of the tactics. Clean bum hole this morning. Thanks for listening. She's very sound. She's a lovely girl. Hmm. Not napping. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to let you know about our lead sponsor, manscaped.com, the best in below the belt men's groom. And join the over 4 million men worldwide using men's below the belt groom from Manscaped. And Valentine's Day is coming up. I've got a little bit of opposition here. I reckon we need a new national holiday. I think February the 13th. The day before Valentine's Day should become national. In fact, no, worldwide, shave your balls day. Because let's be truly honest, Valentine's Day, all the bells and whistles of it is for the woman. All a man wants is to get sucked off. And that is only really going to happen if he's got a nice trimmed pubic region. So you need the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 with the amazing uh, Lawnmower 4.0, which is honestly one of the best bits of kit. We got sent them when uh, Manscaped became a sponsor. They're a phenomenal bit of kit. You don't get nicked. You've got a little light on it. It runs forever. You can use it in the shower. You've also got the weed whacker for your nose hair because ladies do not like a hairy fucking nose. You also get extra gifts. There's like a shed travel bag, which is really nice. Anti-chafe, like, uh, what are these? Like, it, like boxes by Manscaped. The boxes are amazing. I actually personally love... The ball deodorant and the toner he as does. well. And they've smelt better ever since you started My using balls it. smell fucking lovely, mate. Well, no, the guests comment. <laughs> <laughs> look, treat your missus to getting you one of these shavers. Your dick will look better. Your dick will look bigger. And honestly, she's going to want to touch it more because no one wants to touch a messy little pubic region. You've got, like, leftover cum in it. Oh, God. Good. <laughs> God, no. Really? Is that an issue? Is that the issue? <laughs> Go to manscaped.com for our exclusive offer of 20% off plus free shipping with the code WORD20. What's the code, Adam? The code is WORD20. Shave your balls. Make your woman think you're great. Come in your pubes, eh? Problem. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> Have a wash first, yeah? <laughs> There's only so much shampoo can do. Yeah. Get the lawnmower 4.0. Hack, hack away. It is actually the best thing I own. It is, 100%. Mm. Mm. Welcome back to the second section of this Have A Word podcast, where Adam Rowe has taken some red-eye eye drops in the Finn break. Finn gave me eye drops, and I'm pretty sure it was just balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. <laughs> you all right? Does it hurt more? Mm. It's not happy eye. No. Did you do both eyes? Or? Oh, happy eye, oh, happy eye, oh, happy eye, oh, happy eye. When Jesus was, when, when Jesus, Jesus was. He could fix it. He fixed everything in him. No, 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 no. Can't walk. I have some legs. Can't see. He had legs. Couple of eyes. He had legs. <laughs> do you think you're high up Jesus' priority list if he does come back? If the Messiah does come back? I've got 40,000 you know, followers on Instagram. I'll a, do a post for them. There's a war in Ukraine. There's the cripple. <laughs> there's the needy. There's the meek. And then there's Adam Rowe, who's got a bit of poo in his eye. I don't think you're right <laughs> up there. Do you reckon if Jesus comes back, he'd be like an influencer? Do you reckon he'd be like doing like CBD gummy bears on Instagram? Be like, <laughs> 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 you Jesus gummy Use code CHRIST. <laughs> <laughs> Eat, mate, Jesus would get... Bare pussy, man, wasn't he? He, he, like, he's ripped. I don't think he, he was, as well. he was, he was like seven foot tall as well, apparently. No, he was apparently a dwarf, wasn't he? That's the thing. No, no, but like, it, he's, he's depicted as like a giant, isn't he? Yeah, well, but yeah. The, the chat is he was actually a dwarf. He had dwarfism. The chat. The chat. Classic. That's Who's a, the Pope? Adam's in the old uh, Jesus was a dwarf <laughs> chat rooms. <laughs> he's not been in our Discord, <laughs> but he's in that chat room. Yeah, no, classic chat. Yeah, but Jesus was, was a, a dwarf. Person. Yeah. <laughs> What's the hands? <laughs> you know. Fact. <laughs> magic hands. <laughs> Jesus was magic. Couldn't make himself not a dwarf, though. <laughs> he could have. He just wanted to be. He was happy. Why? Why? Everyone was broke, Don't fix it. That, that was his attitude. <laughs> was it? That's one of the. Isn't that one of the commandments? Oh no, that was Moses. <laughs> the tenth, the eleventh commandment. If it's not broke, don't fix it. It's a parable. Yeah. Parable. Yeah. 
parable. I watched the new Dylan Brennan so, special on it. Which um, which book of the New Testament was that? The Book of Stee? <laughs> no, the, the which one? Which parable? That's what I think. What parable? No, was it's it? the Book of Stee. No, Genesis chapter three, book of Genesis, verse there is nine. No book of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And if you need mash tickets, get on to my mate Rob. It was Stay 114, yeah. Stay 114. If yeah. it's not broke, don't fix it. And Stay 115 is, uh, if you can't handle me at my way, she doesn't deserve it me best. Yeah. Stay 116. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. It's Donna, chapter 2, verse 12. Yeah. Alsatians are great. I know that one. That's a fucking classic. Jeff, 7. 43. Jeff, 743? He had loads. 43 verses? That's a big seventh chapter by Jeff, isn't it? Um, uh, Thorough. His was. Wasn't Ricky Atten good? <laughs> he was ahead of his time. <laughs> but he used the past tense. <laughs> Isn't Ricky Atten going to be Is good? It, yeah, 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 sorry, are, you, are you misquoted? <laughs> yeah. Don't misquote the Scouse Bible. Imagine reading that in like the year three and you read the Bible and you're like, well, there was a year three, wasn't it? Yeah, but the Bible didn't come out till... <laughs> Bible, when was the Bible? 2001. 300 and something. All right, so it's 300 and something plus two. And someone's reading it, isn't it? <laughs> two years later. Not even plus three. <laughs> no, it's plus two this time. It was plus three that time. I've changed it. <laughs> so it's 300 something plus two. Plus one. Um, and imagine reading that like, wasn't Ricky Atten God who's that yeah imagine and they're all saying that who's Just that imagine. hey I don't know why we let this in and then now they em- watch Emperor it Constantine's like, you know like does this need to be in this one about <laughs> who's this Jeff con I think Matthew Mark Luke and John they seem sound but this Jeff guy no and also Amir Khan's a bit of a bellend <laughs> probably will be this is a boxing magazine back there <laughs> yeah, yeah they're into boxing <laughs> I mean, yeah. do you want to do questions or do you want yeah, to talk yeah. about Jesus being no, a... I want uh, to give advice. I want to help. Being a boxing I think Je- if Jesus is coming back like he looks in every Catholic church, he's coming back ripped and sexy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rexy. <laughs> Chinese sexy. <laughs> we all knew that. Cha! <sighs> upset me! I didn't upset you. Which you think he'd go first? If God was like, pow, you're back. Back on the earth. Where's he going to go? Nando's. <laughs> um, Steve's trying to silently slip off to go and get Paddy. What do you think the biggest thing that needs fixing in the world, then? Is fucking I right now. Not from before. Oh, that, 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 oh. <laughs> I felt like a dig, but it wasn't. I and the, I knew it wasn't. I meant the red Imagine eye. that, Jesus, come back. Fix his fucking eye. <laughs> Look, I know you've got lepers and that. But this eye's doing my head, and I have to look at it twice a week. All the Ukrainian children, why they drop bombs? Don't worry about that. They're munching on bum I don't reckon there's going to be any war in Ukraine, by the way. I reckon it's, it's, already already it's already happening. It's already happening. The soldiers who are already it's, dead. They've invaded. Yeah. Oh, that's all fucking bullshit. But how do you know they've invaded? <laughs> so so it's lame, Hillary you know? Clinton eating Ukrainian children on pizza. How do you know it's not right? <laughs> Little Jesus dwarf, Hillary Clinton, <laughs> Peter, children all over her face. Putin, sound. Poo I, sound. Poutine. Some questions. <laughs> Can I just say, when we riff bullshit, to then do a question <laughs> seems so fucking redundant. Dave Askew says, hi Liz, just a quick one. Only fans. I think I'm becoming addicted have any of you ever paid for an OnlyFans? If so, whose? And how did you find it? I'm loving it, but I'm spending way too much money. I don't think Dave wanted his full name said. Dave no. ask you? No, his second name was what he's doing to us. He's asking us. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> he loves questions, then. I'm asking you. Know, I was you. writing. What um, do you... Um... Dave ask you? <laughs> oh, he... Right. <laughs> Davey, 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 Davey ask you. you. Davey, 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 Davey ask you. He's Dave and he's asking you. They are his names and he loves asking questions and he goes to the game. Davey, <laughs> Davey, Davey, Davey ask you. I think Jesus would come back and start an OnlyFans. Oh, yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah, I think he'd do pretty well. What would he do? He'd get uh, he's not, he's not, he's not going to, you know, the Messiah, you can make a bit of money now, can't you, on OnlyFans? We don't want him on Patreon. 
No, fuck that. That's ours. Tim Dillon's big enough to beat. I don't want to beat Jesus. I reckon. I don't reckon Jesus would have a good podcast. I reckon he'd be fucking annoying. He get good. To. He get good guests though. Would he though? Everyone. Would he just have like? Yeah, I think he would. I think no, he would, Adam. He, no, I think, I think he, he would. I think he'd be like, oh, we've got a farmer on this week because we're giving back to the poor. <laughs> like the farmer's poor. What? Talk me through. Really? I'm just uh, like, oh, he'd get normal people on, thinking it's a good thing. Right. A farmer's poor in your head. <laughs> They're the meek. <laughs> He's so peppy. There's meek. gin in there. <laughs> the meek. Classic meek. Farming. The dairy farming. The meek. I didn't mean the guy who owns the farm. I meant like the farm hand, I suppose. Right. Are you talking about the year 2022 or olden times? <laughs> well, Jesus was from then, so maybe... He'd... But Jesus is now here. He's on OnlyFans. Okay, well then he'd get like some... I don't know. Someone who does the... Our pulse for BT. Clip that out for <laughs> socials, please. That's an absolute... There's, there's our next viral what one. conversation's that? Do you have a towel pulse for BT? Do you... So tell, take me through your day. I'll get up. <laughs> the pole. <laughs> <laughs> Fix it. Fix it. And that's me pretty much done. Did that seven or eight times. Call it a job. I don't reckon he'd be interested in Jesus. He, he talks in parables as well, doesn't he? Which is fucking infuriating. <laughs> like don't... Freddie Quinn. I look, it was it's it's like you're like fucking hell, Jesus, chill out, mate. Oh my god, you know I, I mean, think, I think Jesus would get pretty good guests on his podcast. I think he'd do all right. Who would he get on? Who, would you do it? Do you think? Yeah, yeah. If Jesus, I'd do it, but I don't think it would go out because I'd just be like, lad, your dad's a gobshite. <laughs> do you reckon, he forgive you, and that would annoy yeah. you more. No, but he w- he wouldn't, though, would he? But he'd have to. The he Jesus, wouldn't want him. The Jesus of Nazareth experience, and Adam turns up late with pink eye. <laughs> This is half your fault anyway. Your dad's a gobshite. <laughs> dad's a gobshite. You'll be like, hey, that's out of order. I'll be like, listen, lad, you got to forgive me. It's in the book. In the rules. <laughs> Have you actually been on OnlyFans? There was that leak, wasn't there, where every OnlyFans... Oh, that was good. Didn't see it. Was that... Yeah, you did. You showed me it. <laughs> you sent it to the group. I did, yeah. <laughs> Carl was all over it, just shouting like, what a pair of bastards. Carl talking about breasts is really aggressive. What See, a, there's people who thought you were talking about the people who leaked yeah. it then. What a, pair what a of, pair of bastards. What a pair of sex offenders she's got. Um, I I uh, I don't know why you would sign up for it when there's so much free actual porn available. Is it something to do, is the psychology of it something to do with it's like they, you feel like you're getting a personal yeah. insight? Yeah. It must be, because otherwise, like, why would they do it? If, not, if, they, if it's not that... What is it? So is it the same thing as like the the guys that ring up Babe Station and like, oh my God, I'm through. Like, yeah, it's is a this... direct link between... But there isn't though, because the, the OnlyFans, you don't get anything personally, do you? You just get to see her. Is it basically like an Instagram post, but behind a paywall? Like, oh, here's me too. Yeah. It's, it's, it? it's Patreon, but you're giving out naughty shit. Right, cool. Can you do naughty shit on Patreon? Yeah. No, Ad- you can do adult videos. No, but you can do adult videos on Patreon. I'm sure you can. When OnlyFans was built, was it actually for porn or was it just for... It Was no. it basically for Patreon? Was it like an alternative to Patreon? Yeah. So legitimately, if you say now, if you've got an OnlyFans, everyone's like, oh, porn. But actually, when OnlyFans was made, it could have been for podcasting and stand-ups. Yeah. What is that noise? It's Adam's phone. Close to my phone. It says OnlyFans. Um, I uh, I don't get signed up for it when it's so readily available elsewhere. Because the... Like, if you want to, you can see any type of porn within 30 seconds of deciding you want to see it. If you want to see a midget squirting, you can see that. You Quickly. can, that's a fact. <laughs> I think Adam might have seen it live last night. <laughs> Jesus. Whoa. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I think it must be the personal thing where you're like, oh, I'm I'm supporting this person. It's like, like you're one. their mate. Yeah, yeah. Dave, I'm just saying, mate, don't, don't let this be the reason you're fucking missing out on a Nando's a month. It's not good, is it? I've uh, I've done like a full sort of change of mind. I think I, I always thought like it would be impossible for me to be with a girl who's got an OnlyFans, but I don't think I'd care anymore. Like, I just I don't think I'd be asked. I'd just be like, yeah, it doesn't matter. Sure I, I get to see it. I get to look it. Are you sure? Yeah, I think I'd be okay with no, it. No, I don't think you would. No, I think I would. So y- your girlfriend... Whoever she is, he's imaginary. When you're playing FIFA, she's downstairs fingering herself on video for men. Why is she not next to me? Because I don't think that sells. Just watching you <laughs> throw your fucking controller at the screen. <laughs> she's having she's a like, oh my like, God. Fuck off! 
Thank you. As if. As if. Oh. She's got it like pinging up on the laptop. She's like, thanks to Dave, who's just tipped me 14 quid. Adam, like, oh, fuck off! Like, screen fucking smashed. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind you doing OnlyFans, but I want to be there when you film it. My OnlyFans thing comes down, babe. No, but it's it's just a job, innit? Listen, I, I kind of like that you're being progressive about it, but I don't believe you. I don't think you would be all right with it. I wouldn't. You're quite predict. I wouldn't no, literally. Not, I wouldn't go after it. But this like, isn't if, I, a if I was like, if I really liked the girl and she was like, I've got an OnlyFans, I think I could put up with it. So, like, I come up to you and go, "There's a picture of your bed's bum hole." That would be weird. <laughs> no, that's the deal, isn't it? Yeah, but like, who's doing that? And I'd be like, "Yeah, I've got that picture. I like, took it." Why are you showing me that? What's the percentage? You want to see the high res? No, I don't. I think I like, I like the theory. Star? What happens if your partner was a porn star? No, because then she's getting literally leathered. On the flip side of it with OnlyFans, at least people are like, when people are like, it's disgusting, it's not. You can absolutely do whatever you want. And if you have a favourite OnlyFans man or woman or whatever, yeah, give them some money, but don't do it to the point where you're spending too much money on it. This is like, that. this is almost like online gambling, isn't it? For yeah. some people, they can go on and have a bit of a flutter. I'm sure some people got OnlyFans go, fucking hell, that was great, I'm into it. It's like three quid a month or whatever, you sign up for it, you can tip. But if you're doing it to the point where you're getting addicted, that's an addiction, mm -hmm. and that that needs working on. But I'm not criticizing anyone that's got an OnlyFans. If you if you're on there, just slapping your tits and getting ten pound tips, go for it, girl. Fucking slapping your tits and getting ten, 10 pound tips. tips. I, that should be the slogan of OnlyFans. Good on you. I yeah, I agree with you. Absolutely great. Get out there. If you've got it, flaunt it and monetize. And it. And also, I bet there's quite a lot of conscientious OnlyFans like like people who are like look this is you've gone too far or whatever i'm sure there's some unscrupulous uh guys and girls who are like nice one you they'd let you lose your house going how much do you like these tits i'll slap them extra hard you don't need a car pow <laughs> after this i love how they're the options do you want your car or do you want me to slap this a little bit harder <laughs> hey choices look if laura was like hey i don't want to go back to work and you know it's great being a, a stay-at-home mum I just want to earn some money and you're doing so well on the internet and I've signed up. <laughs> I'd be so fucking into it. Would you? I'd be like, you do you, babe. You do you. What would be the, the line, next, though? The next Nando's is on you. Um, Bumol. Vagina. Tits. Face. The but there's only, there's only fans couples. Face there's only fans couples that actually... Yeah, yeah. There's full on babanging, isn't there? Yeah. Would you do that? Well, some of the ones, you know when that leak happened with OnlyFans, the ones that we clicked on were just like girls like, there's me in my kitchen, bikini. Oh, am I taking it off? Oh, was that like a ring girl from the UFC? I think so. She was like a famous, Is yeah, Carl's no idea. I don't know. Let me just check my tattoo. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, she is, yeah. yeah um, Ariane Celeste, I think her name is. Right. I don't understand what, who, why are you paying for that? That's just a fit girl that you know from the USC as a ring girl who's just in a kitchen in a bikini going, am I taking it off? No, I'm not. What the fuck? That's boring. Because people get obsessed with people, don't they? Right, okay, cool. People are paid for you to do that. I have to say, though, I do have a bit of a lingerie uh, skirt and uh, suspenders thing that I sort of can't quite... I can't find where... On Pornhub, they're like, what are you on about? Like, I really... I just don't know. Like, I... I Got specific things, you know, like you with the tennis player thing. It's like not it's the skirt. Yeah, yeah, the <laughs> a line skirt. That's what it's called. I found out now. There's a, there's one porn. This is so rude today. I love it. There's one porn video that I ended up bookmarking. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know when you're like not on the toolbar, just in the bookmarks. I'm not an animal. It doesn't go Gmail, <laughs> Facebook, Twitter. This girl, but she was she she was in a bedroom and she was uh, like. She got undressed, but then put some knickers on, and it was a and it really fucking did it for me. And I could see that if there was an OnlyFans account where it was like, oh, I try on lingerie, and I don't know, like if you were getting really specific. I know that's not particularly dirty, but it's quite niche. I could maybe see it then, but again, don't fucking. It's just the link it. in it. It's the oh, um, I I get to constantly. Yeah, it's the personal touch. I think. Yeah, it must be because there's so like. But in a way, everything that they do is readily available for for on Pornhub for free in seconds. Yeah. So it must be like, oh, I sort of know her. Yeah, she knows who I, I exist in her world. We've got an OnlyFans listener slash follower. 
Yeah, she, yeah, she, she, she tweeted yesterday. On, she she tweeted a lot of stuff on Twitter. It's great. Hey, by the way, your pinned tweet, absolutely phenomenal work. I had a look at that. I'm going to have a look in a minute. I don't know who it is. Oh, you've no idea, Carl. I really have no you've idea. You've no idea which pin t- tweet we're talking about. Unexpected item in bagging area. I you ju- have no idea. That. <laughs> That's genuinely... Imagine saying I've went up your ass. Unexpected item in the bagging I'm area. I'm not joking. I think that's what the tweet is written as. Really? Yeah, because I've looked at it eight times. Oh, I genuinely don't know what tweet is. Anyway, thanks for your support, mate. What's his name? Kevin G. Oh, hang on. Kevin that's a piss. No, 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 no. A Wait a second. What's his name? Happy birthday. Carl, did you use the masculine when you knew full well we were talking about a young lady? <laughs> Bit of a gay joke. Loved it. I think it's Beth Haven. Miss Beth Haven. <laughs> and, uh, it's weird that I know, but, you know, it was... Miss Beth Haven. No, it's not. Is it Ms? No. I don't know, Carl, but it exists. Oh, she follows me. Hello. Hello. Yeah, she loves the podcast. Happy birthday. Top tweet. Happy birthday. All right, okay. Hello. Maybe she doesn't want this attention, but I tell you who definitely doesn't want the attention. The woman on OnlyFans doesn't want a plug. Dave Askew. Kevin Jewish. What kind of plug? In an asshole? Aye. Kevin Jewish. <laughs> well, well, we've just given a, a bit of a shout out to two people at very different ends of the scale. Dave and Beth. Enjoy. Um, go big, support Beth. Big Craig says. Yeah, go and support her. Oh, go and watch Finn Taylor's stand-up special because it's fucking excellent. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's got an OnlyFans because yeah. the industry is on its ass. There's a B-side to his stand-up special where he just shoves up his, up his ass. It's called. What's his, his special called? So my wife. Oh yeah, my wife. So yeah. my so my wife. And the, the last B- half of that sentence is shoved a stick up my ass. No, his B side's called Fingala. misplaced <laughs> item in bagging area. Fingala. <clears throat> wow, Carl. Someone's got them birthday fucking feels, haven't you? <laughs> Happy birthday. Is it good? I've not watched it yet. My birthday. Fin, fin, fin special. Oh, it's so good, and it starts fast with punchlines quickly. It's so good. We'll watch a little, we'll watch a little bit when uh, we're waiting for Paddy. Is he one of the best? I think he might be one of the absolute best in the country. I think he's in my top five in the UK. Yeah, I'd say he's well up there. Um, it was great on here. Phenomenal at the roast. To follow Freddie, who stole the show at the roast, and still do a great job. Freddie just went evil. Yeah, but like that's what they wanted. Uh, that's out next week, by the way. For patreon.com slash everywhere So we, we did the roast live show at the start of the month. It was recorded. And it will be put out on Patreon. Not all of it. That's not, March that's not possible. Oh, man. There's one guy that keeps going like, you really need to just, just yeah. done it unedited. You're like, it's not how it works. I think you're really taking for granted your supporters. We're absolutely not. Oh, shut our, up. Our Patreon is the best value in the fucking land. But come to a trust show. Us. If you want just, to see it, come to a show. You got- big fat gobshite. Shut up. <laughs> oh. Du- 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 <laughs> and he works for MTV. Do, 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 do. You gobshite, cum guzzling cunt. Do, shut up. Do, 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 we'll do, do what we do. want. And if you want to pay for it, great. And if you don't, fuck off. You big fat ass. gobshite. <laughs> yeah, I bet you he is fat, though. <laughs> do you know this is a public episode, this, today? <laughs> He's bladdered as well. <laughs> I'm not bladdered. I've got a bad eye. It looks like I'm more pissed than I am. Right. But I am. Yeah. I had a few drinks. And a few, all right. And a few bummels. No, I didn't kiss her bum all. I kissed her face. Just a little, you know, a nice house thing. Big Craig says... She's really nice. All right. Big, Big Craig says, would you rather your hands never stop growing or your feet? I love a good old would you rather. I might have a little. That's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I've got quite small hands, so... We have. We've both got small hands. Is it? Finn's oh my head. god, Adam! The fucking heat coming off your hands is unreal. Jesus Christ! No How warm are you? Are you all right? I'm sound. It's just because uh, you know the Reds have got no money, but they also win the league. Oh so Jesus yeah. Christ! It's firing me. Out. Hungover, still pissed out, and like oh, for LFC. <laughs> just a famous LFC. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Simply <laughs> LFC. Do you not know whoa, that song? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like the homeless fellow. Hey, thing. clap your hands if they're small and warm. Clap your hands <laughs> if they're small and warm. Clap your hands 
If you smile and walk, clap your hands. If, if you smile and walk, Liverpool, as a football team, we <coughs> score loads of goals. LSE. Whoa, LSE. Whoa. Jordan LA? Henderson, he's a good role model and everybody likes him. Jordan <laughs> Henderson. Rumours that he's a gay. You still like him, though. Good role yeah. model. Apparently there's loads of gays in the Premier League. <laughs> they just like no one wants to go first and say... <laughs> this is a public episode. I'm, I, I'm not saying he is, I'm saying there's rumours and that's a fact. It is a fact. <laughs> God. That there's rumours that Jordan Henderson is a gay. fucking club clapped it. Like, yeah, he's good. You know, is he a gay, though? <laughs> I think no, that's, that's what, what I'm doing. Doesn't. He's good, regardless went, of what he fucking... You just literally went, I mentioned Jordan Henderson, you went, rumours is a gay? And then there was a pause. Fuck. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just saying. There's there rumours he's, he, he's a gay. There's rumours Lalana is. Um, there's rumours Ashley Cole was, and the whole Sheryl Cole thing was a PR stunt. So that she got over the racism row, and he... Yeah, and Didn't if you're thinking, is Adam being a bit homophobic? Don't worry about it. He called Jesus a dwarf just about I'm not being ten minutes homophobic. ago. I'm not scared of them. I'm fine. I'm like, no problem. Is this what it's been like watching me this year? What do you mean? Jordan Henderson, we're not sure of his sexuality. Jordan Henderson, but that's his right. It's his private life and he still plays great. Jordan Henderson, I hope he finds love anywhere he's looking. Jordan Henderson, I'd respect any decision he made in his personal life. Jordan Why is it homophobic for me to say Jordan it sounds Henderson? sounds a bit much. Why? Adam, have you lost all grip of like what sound you literally went, Jordan Henderson, rumors he's a gay. It sounded a bit aggressive. Well, I didn't mean it to. All right, cool. I th Jordan Henderson, <laughs> Adam Rose supports his sexuality. Maybe he's by Jordan Henderson. No, but like oh. we've got a long way to go with the acceptance of uh, homosexuality in this country. And I'd like to get to a point one day where it's not news that a footballer is gay. But there hasn't been an openly gay Premier League footballer who is still playing at any point. So it is worth mentioning when there's chat that Henderson might be homosexual. Right, cool. You sound, in, when you describe it like that, you sound like you're quite progressive and supportive of people's right to come out and label their sexuality yeah. publicly. When when I say Jordan Henderson, you go, <laughs> rumours he's a gay and Lalana, it doesn't sound like you're a massive fan of the LGBTQ Premier League player but movement. why? It just, I'm just telling you how it sounds, so Adam. don't say it like that anymore. Just maybe, there's Wait. just a way into it. Rumours he's one of the gays. <laughs> Is that better? No, just the more sort Coach of like... me, come no, on. Jordan Henderson. Somewhere over the rainbow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Or, you know, something like that. It's just like, sort, sort of. So okay. Hey, He plays for England, Liverpool, and the gay team. <laughs> I can't believe the second section of this episode is four minutes long. <laughs> Jordan Henderson! <laughs> ah, I was genuinely trying to I'm proud of him, <laughs> and he's at pride. Jordan Henderson. Yeah. I bet he's a really nice chap. I bet it is as well. He seems like and a phenomenal lover. Yeah. That American player came out was gay, didn't he? Like a couple of months ago. Carl Nassib. Is that his name? Yeah. Yeah, good for them. Must be hard though. Is he an NFL player? He is a uh, No, he's a MLS player. Did I say NFL? Sorry. Oh, a, sorry. Uh, there's an NFL player. Oh, came right. Well, there's a, a footballer in the American League as well who came out. Right, game. cool. Carl Nassib came out and um he was he made a, a a post about a video post he was like it's sad that I feel like I have to do this so publicly yeah. like a seven year veteran so probably about 30 years old not like a top level superstar but a player that's quite well known if you know the NFL playing at defensive end maybe third third sort of like choice defensive end for the Raiders and came out and everyone was incredibly supportive obviously but I'm actually you know, it's sad that he's had to wait eight years and he's the first ever NFL player to openly come out as gay yeah, there's while playing. There's never been a Premier League player ever. It's not just But apparently there's like w at least one in every team. Yeah, because statistically, how many Premier League players are in there's the squad? There's lots of men. Like, it's statistically there's four, five hundred yeah. first team squad players, isn't there, in the in the league? Is that about right? Yeah. About that probably, yeah. Yeah. There's 30 as a maximum in every squad. 
twenty five is the match day squad. Yeah. No, twenty five. Yeah. How many? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So one in twenty five. I think what would be really progressive if they had to have five gay players on every squad. Yeah. That'd be great. Five subs. No, no. Just you had to. You're like you know. No, they can be dominant. That was good, mate. I didn't give a fuck. That was good. That was good. Let's have a break. Jordan Henderson. <laughs> is he a bottom or is he a top? I don't care. Because we're three points off. Top of the league or top of... Oh, hello. Men. Break. Baraka. Hello everyone, let's talk about one of our sponsors today, it's NordVPN. Now I don't know loads about VPNs, but the man to my left here is addicted to the internet and he's an expert. See, the fact that you don't use VPN for your private little Danny time is insane to me. It's the most secure way to save the internet, you can set your location to anywhere on the planet and that means you get access to like, you can change it to America, you get American Netflix, you can change it to like Saudi Arabia and you get to watch the Premier League football with the six Saudi Arabian commentators on. You get to watch Premier League football that's at three o'clock that you can't get over here. It's just a sick way of tricking your computer or any device into thinking you're anywhere in the world. You, I can't recommend it enough. And the fact that they're now a sponsor and I get a, a membership of NordVPN for free is, it's the, my favorite sponsor we've had so far apart from Manscaped because they help me shave my balls. The deal is a two year deal plus one month for just 65 quid, $89, which is about 65 quid. It's an amazing deal. It is at nordvpn.com slash have a word, code word, have a word. Go and get it. Watch the footy. Watch whatever you want. Tell your computer where you are. He doesn't get to tell you where you are. My computer sometimes looks at me without my VPN. I'm like, hey, we're in Liverpool here. And I'm like, no, you're not. You're in Belarus. Nailed it. <laughs> Ah, yeah. <laughs> Part three of four. Fucking 30. I Grow am, up. I am 30. 30. Patrick the Patrick's hey. here. Yeah. I had a first person to say that. There's someone else said Patrick. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Yeah, I've heard that one before. <laughs> lad, I've heard everything before. Fucking hell, what haven't I heard? How are we? I'm good, lad. How I does it good. feel uh, as a Ukrainian man? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, we stand with you. <laughs> Parichenko. Power to the people. <laughs> Paddy Chenko. <laughs> He's a fighter, dude. Paddy the Bad Chenko. Sounds good. This is going to be a fun second half because I'm definitely still pissed slash moving into hangover. He's sick of my shit. Carl's there. Hi, <laughs> Betty. Paddy's dieting. Betty's He's hungry. Betty should rip anyone's head off. What's the diet like? Because yeah. I diet every now and then. I drop weights and put it back on. I just yo yo. Yeah, that's me, yeah. God, I do the exact same. I just yo yo constantly. Like that's... I drop weight to get like me press shots done and then just put it all back on. <laughs> yeah. I'd... He loses weight. I can't believe it. I'm just the same as you, Paddy. You know, you cut weight for UFC fights <laughs> and I lose a few pounds to get me dick touched. It's the same. <laughs> it's exactly uh, the same. I, I, I personally, though, at times like this, I think I look a bit like a punter. You know what I mean? I look like I've been shooting Bob. Like, serious, lad. Look like a crack fiend. You can see me cheekbones and that, you know what I mean? To our American listeners, tooting Bob. <laughs> <laughs> when you fight as well, lad, your shoulders are so fucking, like, triangular. I, it's weird, lad. I'd noticed it when I looked in the middle yesterday. Like, me, it does that. Yeah. Shoulders do that. It's, oh, I'm weird, lad. My body type's proper strange. But it's funny, lad. Like, last time I was on here, lad, it was, like, a two weeks after me fighting. My face was like, God, you know what I mean? <laughs> People will watch this and go, that's not the same kid. <laughs> That's not the same person, nah. No, no I've never seen anyone in my life, and obviously you're, you're a fighter and it's part of the job, but I don't think I've ever seen anyone put on weight and lose weight like you do. I like, think Ricky Hatton was up there, wasn't he? Yeah, Ricky's no, but definitely this up is there. another fucking... If you see him, like, walking out of the, the ring after his fucking first UFC fight, he's like, how oh, do you like me now? And he's ripped to fuck. And three weeks later, he was three like... Weeks. Three, three weeks? Three weeks, days, lad, lad. Five days, yeah, he three was a, days, serious, yeah, lad. He was like, really, I went to Cornwall, I got home. Like, lad, after that fight, lad, we got back to the hotel. Fucking, we were in Vegas as well, weren't we? So, what's the first thing you get? What's the, you know, like when they win an Oscar, they have a cheeseburger because they're sick of dieting for the dress. When you won uh, the fight, you got to the hotel. We what's got the a first big thing massive you got? Popeyes. Well, Ellis done a joint first. Then we done had a big <laughs> massive Popeyes. You <laughs> know what I mean? Big massive Popeyes. Nailed that. Two hours later, was like, I'm hungry again. Got a shake shack. Nailed that burger, then like two or three hours later again, ordered one of them Dairy Queens, got a dessert and a big ice cream and a milkshake. Amazing. That was just all a dessert. 
and the big ice cream. That was sort of sexual, that. Like, yeah. What else? Oh, that's him get? sitting there eating. I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's fucking gangster. Does anybody <laughs> Does anybody say to you like high up that you shouldn't be doing it? Have you been told off? Yeah, I mean, I don't even mean in your camp. I mean, like the UFC. No, no, I can't say fuck all of. I don't mean. I mean, but like, kind of like a vibe. Yeah, like Bisbon said it to me and that. Like, oh yeah, you should. And I was like, I know, I should, but literally. I eat what I want for a week, and I'm f- go for it. Like I weigh in at seventy. The next day, when I walk into the cage, I'm seventy-seven, seventy-eight. You know what I mean? Because you're hydrating that. You put uh, yeah. like that back on. Everyone does it. The Russians are the worst for it. They put like ten, twelve kilo back on, lad, because they do a drastic weight cut. Um, yeah, they do. But <laughs> <laughs> you know that, don't you? Oh yeah. You've been studying it. Yeah, 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 yeah. A Russian fighter. Well known for it. Likeable people, but uh, <laughs> like I walk in the cage about seventy seven, and then lad, I went to Cornwall with my bird, and by the by, like the Wednesday Thursday, I was like eighty eight kilo again. You know what I mean? And that's just where I eat like six whisper golds at once, lad, and <laughs> the desserts. When I go for a scan, lad, when we went for a scan, lad, it was so funny in Cornwall at one point, lad, we went for a scan. Like there's a, a lovely tie gaff on the front, and. It was a big queue. You've got, you've got to go upstairs, and it was at the bottom of the stairs. And underneath the tie gaff, there's an ice cream dessert gaff. Know what I mean? And I just I was looking at. It, I was like, I went over and said, "What time do you shut, love?" She went, "Oh, we shut in half an hour." So I was like that, looking at Laura, like, "This is gonna be shut when we come out of here. It's gonna be shut, you know. It's gonna be shut." And in the end, she went, "Just fucking get one." So lad, I got one, three big scoops of this heavy gelato ice Before cream. Before your meal? Yeah, and as we were in the queue waiting to fucking to go in for the tie gaff. <laughs> and then when we went in the tie gaff, we got three starters and six mains between us. <laughs> and nailed every last fucking bit three of it. Three starters, <laughs> six mains? Yeah. I'd have to hibernate after that. That'd be me done for the fucking winter. <laughs> you I know what you mean, like, but I just ended up smoking another joint and then going and eating <laughs> more chocolate when I got back to gaff. <laughs> On the way, I'd got some cakes off this cakes by Lizzie on Insta, and I just went back to gaff. Shout out. I just uh, went back to gaff and ended up eating more chocolate cakes and fucking <laughs> brownies and that. You know what I mean? I relate to that, though. Like, if I go out for a meal, especially if I'm on, like, a date or with a... If I'm in a relationship at the time, which I'm not, I'm hungover as fuck. Um, like, I will order <laughs> so much food. And I'll just be like, you order whatever. <laughs> we'll have, like, six starters and three mains. The other way around, the more traditional one, I think. I think three starters <laughs> with six mains is, is a bit mental. <laughs> yeah, order mental. enough food. Oh, order enough food so you're not annoyed when your partner starts nicking yours. That's not a bad shout, is it? I, I went to Gusto. Maz's older brother works in Gusto. I went to Gusto. And I think we got like four starters. And then I got three mains just to myself. It's Gusto in it, so I got a pasta. I can't remember what else got was there. eating now. <laughs> a steak, a steak that, and chips, a burger and chips, and then we got a dessert at the end as well. That, this is a healthy little cake. Is that a lemon drizzle? Shout out, Macro Chef. But, uh, Are these just a walk and fucking billboard today? <laughs> cakes yeah. by Lizzie, Macro Chef. This and one, shout uh, out John's Carpets in um, South <laughs> one. 290 calories, this, isn't it? 19 grams of protein, 29 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat, peanut butter, protein, flapjack. Nice. So this is something I actually can have. Know what I mean? So, uh, is the stuff that's just off limits here at the minute? Yeah. So, what can't you have? Most things I like. <laughs> Custard creams are shit. <laughs> no. But bourbons are better. Fact. Unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> it is? It's oh, true. it's going to be hard to call a UFC fucking fight. Custard uh, creams are, that's something the queen needs. Biscuit biscuit <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what? You think the queen's having Oh, custard yeah. Cream? Bourbons are like the fucking biscuit of the people. Is that what he's yeah. saying? Yeah. He's, right. he's got <laughs> custard creams on. He's so right, though. Is he fucked? Look at the fucking pattern on it. You think the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, <laughs> is sat in Buckingham Palace at the minute, COVIDed up to fuck with a cup of tea? And a packet of custard. Them, these, their Tories. Look, Tory's no, gone. look she, at the pattern. She's not eating. She's not eating Tesco ones, lad. Obviously, she's eating up market oh, custard creams. Oh, lad, you haven't really. even seen the custard creams. They're fucking. They haven't got cream. They've just got tears of the working class. Exactly. <laughs> Juicy. He's on it. <laughs> He's on it, lad. I reckon she's a hobnob girl myself. The Queen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I reckon she is. <laughs> The only posh biscuits that Lou and Adam just thinks of something and goes, "Yeah, I'll stand by that." 
I the thought of it 1.2 seconds ago and I will <laughs> die on the hill. <laughs> the only posh biscuits that I can have say are heavy, lad, is my beard. No, no, she never even got them, my beards, my God, is them. These M&S shortbreads. Power. In like a metal tin, lad. Like it's one of them, you're I sitting there. Tall, as you're eating there. Cream's tory scoff and as you're sitting there, lad. As you're eating it, lad, and you're dipping your tea, you're getting aroused. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You haven't had sex in a few days, Paddy, have you? I've had sex in about three weeks or something. Like. <laughs> Are you I got, do you I have got to the, abstain? No, I don't have to, but I just haven't I trained that much and oh, worked that hard. Yeah. I haven't got the testosterone in my body to be arsed to goose my bed. Does it help, though? Because we've spoken about that. <laughs> well, I'm not messing that. Like, it's, I'm it's saying that hard and I'm not. Like, every day, I'm putting that much work in, lad. You get in bed. And you're just lying there like, oh my God. The way you walked in it, because you've just come from training, haven't you? Yeah. How long were you training for today? Uh, well, I've done me sparring rounds. So I sparred this morning and then I went and boxed right after it. So I've done two two sessions a day. Oh, yeah. I mean. You walked in You walked in here like a man who wasn't like, can't wait to go and fucking goose my birds. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just want to sit um, down and a fucking peanut butter drizzle. Yeah, I just want to sit down, lad, and have a fucking cup of tea. I'm like, I'm like an OAP lad when you get home lad, just like, there's oh. a lot of OAP MMA fighters actually there's the OAP <gasps> division Let's oh that would be fucking great you could compete the oh. <laughs> come, come on bro uh, yeah imagine the like, over 80 Prince Charles putting someone like Kamara would be unbelievable the, snapping his own arm and his ma's just there with a custard cream go on love no. <laughs> Is that, is that the first pensioner that you thought of? <laughs> Prince Charles. Am I wrong? We have just been talking about the Queen. Like, exactly, it's all in there. I was do you reckon he's got a pension, Prince Charles? Do you reckon he goes like... They're the all on the dole, aren't they? Tuesday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He owns the fucking custard cream factory that make them Tory custard cream. They're basically on the dole. All fucking hell, we pay the their wages. We pay their wages. Rats. Yeah. Wages. <laughs> oh, I'm in paid this month. <laughs> I'm in paid, you know. Prince Charles, cashing out. Yeah, yeah, National Insurance. Shite, I've never yeah. seen them mad MMA shows they're doing at the minute, though. No. It's like two on ones and that. They've definitely seen it on Twitter. Like a big fat fella versus two flyweights. Oh, that sounds good. Lad, it's the maddest shit ever. All this mad, like, and obviously you've seen them mad shows where they're just having it at press conferences. Yeah, yeah. They're just fucking stupid, lad. They just make us look like fucking idiots. The kid who volleys them off the chair. Yeah, all that, lad. All that league, are they like League One, League Two fucking amateur shit? Yeah. Because I keep seeing it. Yeah. Like that one the other day where he's got his jacket off and then he just steals it on him and hits him four times. Proper annoyed me. It makes us look like fucking rats. Are you worried in any way at all? I think, and this is, as I said to you last time you were here, I'm a casual fan. Like, I'll watch the big cards. I'll watch all of your fights. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But are you worried at all that combat sports are becoming a bit cartoon, like because of the likes of Jake Paul and McGregor crossing over to boxing? And is it is it making a bit of a mockery? The UFC will never get like that, so no. You not think Jake will fight in the UFC? No. You'll never. Dana will give me. He won't. Even for offer money. to. What? He wouldn't have the balls to. Do you think he could get offered it at some point, though? He'd get offered it, but he'd turn it down. He'd be clever to turn it down, though, wouldn't he? Yeah, he'd, he'd, he'd get, never he'd fight absolutely. in the UFC because he knows he'll get his head punched right in. Yeah. What would he? What would he? Be also, like? he could like if these guys they're they're only exhibitions anyway. Yeah, look at CM so they Punk. Could, they could do their own exhibitions. <laughs> look at if they CM want. Punk. He was a fucking crab. <laughs> you know what I mean? He, he won got though. So, he won. A, he won a fight. He never. He, I thought he won the, the no, second he got fight. Absolutely pasted. He got pasted in both fights. Lad. I thought he won it the really second fight in, in the decision. Do you know what it looked like? It he looked like CM Punk was trying to do MMA. That's exactly what it looked like. And the other kid, the other kid could have finished him, but chose to decision him. And Dana said, you'll never fight in the UFC ever again. And he hasn't fought since. Yeah, he was a, he was a crap What, because he drawn it out? Yeah. Instead of finishing him, he was just like showboating and doing stupid shit. So he's n- he's not been given another fight since? No. I think he could be fighting some Irish lads soon, though. Uh, I have a chat with on a uh, Twitter, Dean, Dean Barry. I think he's fighting him soon. Didn't you... Uh, you predicted Askren last time you were in, didn't you? Before he fought Jake Paul. I said, I, said I wanted Askren to win, lad. Well... He's not a boxer. No. Well, the video of you doing the fucking... <laughs> the jab. <laughs> oh, this jab's so bad. Jab's like a T-Rex. You know what Here, I mean? Here's a question for you then. Right. Would you box Jake Paul? Yeah. In a RP's. <laughs> <laughs> Just so massive the fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I would. I would. Do you reckon it'll happen? I'd punch his face in. I know you would. I, I'd, Call him out. But would that ruin your UFC career? Isn't that something you do on the back nine? 
Like that, yeah, gi- that gimmicky that. shit. Yeah. I think someone just needs to deal with Jake Paul, though, don't they? I think someone needs to If I'd seen him at a show and he said something to me, I'd put it right on his toes. You know what I mean? If he started, I'd like, take the piss out of me in any way, shape, or form. I'd put it right on his toes. Like, have you seen that song he's made about Dana? Yeah. It's yeah. embarrassing. Like, it's not even, like... It's embarrassing, lad. Well, he done it to me with it, didn't he? Stole his hat and then got fucking his head punched in. Getting his head punched in, exactly, lad. You know what I mean? I just... They're, they're sausages, lad. All that <laughs> fake... That fake gear, lad. It does my head in. Yeah, I think with the Jake Paul thing, I think someone just needs to twat him and shut him up now. And then he'll go away forever, won't he? As soon as he loses, he's done. Like well, he won't fight no one like Anderson Silva. <laughs> I love you know him what I mean? <laughs> I love him too, because Anderson Silva would knock him out in a round. He won't ever fight anyone like that or Vitor Belfort. He's smart though, isn't he? He's making his money. Yeah. He's making yeah, yeah, he's, he's got us all talking about him. Yeah. He's making We're his money. We're sat here in Runcorn talking about him. Yeah. Which is fucking... He's making his millions. He, he doesn't even know Runcorn exists and it's a shame because he'd love it around here actually. <laughs> <laughs> Where would he go? The ice rink? <laughs> Send him to Shopping City. <laughs> Imagine Jake Paul <laughs> walking around Runcorn Shopping City <laughs> in Wilco's. It's oh. mad because he's a Disney kid, isn't he? He's That's a what Disney makes kid. Makes it even matter. But he's he's just become this cunt, Annie, that everyone loves to hate. The one and thing he's, that pisses me it. off about it is he's going on about UFC fighter pay, like he's trying to help fighters. He's not. He's just doing it to try and make a cunt out of Dana. Yeah. That's all he's doing it for to try and make Dana look bad, so he can have a back and forth with Dana. It's nothing to do with the fighters and helping the fighters. Or is he trying all. to go the UFC into some sort of... No, he's fight. just trying to take the piss out of Dana, lad. Right. Like, and it's not working because Dana's just laughing at him. What he's doing is saying, I will fight in the UFC if you guarantee a pay rise for the fighters in the UFC and you give them medical care for life. But it's all just for clicks and to sell his next pay-per-view. And he'll go to... He'll probably be there in London on the 19th when you're fighting because he just likes... The, he likes being like, I'm here and no one can stop me coming because I'll just buy a ticket and be here. He, he likes the sort of... He's he's the perfect pantomime villain. And he's playing it really well. Yeah, he is, yeah. And the people that hate him, hate him because he's a gobshite. But is he's, this, is this one that just knocked out Tyron Woodley? Yeah. yeah. It was a heavy knock, how to be fair. All legit there, do you think? Yeah, yeah lad, you can't fake going no. face planting on the floor. No. People got on me and was like, Declan, this is real. I'm like, try and fall flat on your face lad, without putting your hands out. <laughs> try and do it. Because you'll, you'll put your hands down. It's a fact. It's an instinct. Yeah, it's yeah. an instinct. Your body can't help but put its hands down. Try and fall flat on your face now without putting your hands down. You Fed will put well. your hands down. <laughs> <laughs> it was a heavy knockout. People were saying like he turned his hand before to like give a tell. It's all shit. He didn't. He just turned the shot. He turned yeah. his fist over to get a better impact on the punch. Yeah. It's and he faked, people... he faked the jab the body before he'd done it. It was actually a good setup. Give him his due. Yeah. People yeah. love... The Just idea that it's all rigged, don't they? And I'm sure there's at some point... Being... Especially with YouTubers, they do. Yeah, 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 You know what I mean? Like, if anyone's like, of course it was, <coughs> like, like legit. It's a, it's... Like, people think COVID's fake, lad. People are going to think Jake Paul knocking Tyron on Woodley, that's <laughs> fake. <laughs> Some people I know think that this war in fucking Ukraine's fake. It's the <laughs> new COVID. But what? you know it's not, because you've got videos from family <laughs> of the bombs dropping in the back garden. <laughs> Help us, Patrick! <laughs> Punch <laughs> them! Patrick, they are dropping the bombs in the garden! As in, Jen, go got on me there, lad. <laughs> How's life changed since you've been in the UFC, though? Because you were in the, oh, you just signed last time, but you hadn't fought, had you? How's no. Life? Everything's blew up in a crazy way, like. But, I just, I've all, and I told you when I was here what was going to happen, you know what I mean? One fight, one interview. And everyone will know who I am. Everyone will want to watch me fight. And when is planned, to be honest? Sick. Can I ask you a, a, a question that I imagine you might have been asked before? And I love it. But the Scousers don't get knocked out. Are you in any way worried? No. That you get knocked out at some point and that is all over everywhere? Yeah, that'll just be a forever meme. But yeah. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't, lad. Like, I didn't mean to say it at the last one, but we're Bisbane trying to say... To me, oh, he nearly got knocked out. I was like, lad, I've told you before. Scousers don't get knocked out. Yeah. Whenever I say it, like, people fucking send me memes at Till and Etham. Yeah. And I'm like, that's not me. And yeah. the thing is, I said I said it before Till ever got knocked out. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I said it years ago. I said it in 2016 when I got it with a big, massive punch. I can't even yeah. remember saying it that time because I got it with that big of a punch. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. remember the fight after I won. That was in Cage Warriors, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, in Cage Warriors, before yeah. I won the belt. So... 
if that happens, you'll just laugh it off and ride it. Yeah. Yeah. But you also don't think it's going to happen either. No. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> because scousers don't get knocked out, so it's not going to matter. And it's funny when people message me and like and comment on stuff, oh, he's going to get knocked out, he needs to keep his chin down. Lad, I've had my chin up for 29 fights. <laughs> no one's ever knocked me out, and they're not going to. So eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> eat shit. You're so made for this podcast, I fucking love it. <laughs> like, without even asking, you're doing it to camera. Fuck off. <laughs> you fucking view. You. Eat, your, <laughs> eat your custard cream. So day-to-day life hasn't changed, no? Like, it's a bit weird when mad cats knock on your house and asking for a picture, like. Do they, yeah? On your door. Yeah. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, see, man. we get a couple Not of Not even as if it's just little kids. He'd lad some... I've had, like, a 60-year-old man and a 50-year-old man knock at my door, you know what I mean? It's, it's a bit weird. What do you do? Do you just humour them and give it to them? They were just lost. Sixty the first one for his wife. <laughs> the first one I've just I just got home from Cornwall, and his kid had seen me, so he must have went down round to his house and said, "Oh, I've just seen Paddy there." And he come back round, um, I was getting like I was on match of the day two that day when I got the next day when I got back from Cornwall, so I had to just pack a bag and literally go to the train station. Um, yeah, um, this fella comes to the door as Laura's unpacking the car. Is he in? I went, what? I went, is he in? Paddy the body? Paddy the body at your front door? Yeah, she went, he's up, upstairs, like, why? She's like, can you get him for us so we can get a picture of me, lad? And I walked to the door and this 50-something year old man, how do you like me now? <laughs> I just went, oh my God, imagine <laughs> that was my dad. Oh my God. I got asked to take a picture last night with uh, someone's kid at the match. So I went to the game last night. Um... And this lad comes up and he's like, oh, I love your stuff, lad. I'm coming to see you this weekend on tour. Uh, I assume it's Leeds or Runcorn or whatever. He's like, but you got a picture with my son? And I went, yeah. But then it was just me and his, his kid hasn't got a fucking clue who I am. He's just got no idea and doesn't give a fuck. So it was two people in a picture who didn't want to be in it. <laughs> just like... Ad- like I Adam Rowan, child. I didn't know what to do with my hand. I was like, where'd you hold the kid? On his ass. <laughs> Slip a finger oh, up Carl, yeah. that's the worst thing you can no, do. Oh, then he remember it. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. That's the <laughs> point. He fingered me. I, I, I was in the chemistry lounge last night. <laughs> <laughs> make, you, make you move. Paddy, make... Paddy, Carl's having a really weird year. <laughs> Freddie got fingered. Yeah. You know, the, it's like the Chinese year of the lunatic. That's the claims of fame, innit? And I, I was in the chemistry lounge last night. And although they have a fella like talking on the mic in there, and I've ever been yeah. in one of them. No. Uh, it's What's like, the chemistry lounge? It's like. Little lounge where you get a free course meal and that before and stuff like oh, that. Oh right, oh the, in the in the ground. Yeah, Sorry, in the ground. I yeah, it was like a bar in no, town. no, in the ground. And the fella said at half time, "Oh, we've got some some famous faces in Paddy the Baddies here." It was funny as well because I was sat with Tom Zanetti, <laughs> and um, well, people just started coming over. I had a little queue for pictures. You know what I mean? But I, I, it doesn't bother me at all getting pictures. I'm used on to your it. door though. That's on, exactly. Mate, I've seen that someone ask for a selfie when he's halfway through a toasty and he's fuming. <laughs> yeah. So the do, the at, like the door the, knocking the ne- on the door. The next too one much. wasn't even mad. one lad. The next one, this fella was driving past ours, and he done a left up the road next to it and stopped on the corner of the road and putting the bin out. And I was bringing the bin in. Brought the bin in. He's shouting. He's shouting out. Get that detail, Crystal. Yeah. Yeah, just for anyone. <laughs> he was shouting. Um, Oh, what's that, there, Papa? I was like, what's that, mate? You're all right, blah, blah. He said something. I said, oh, yeah, I'm just going in now. I'm going to the gym anyway. I walked in. Five minutes later, I was upstairs brushing my teeth. My beard's onto the door and being like, Pad, someone's at the door. Do you want you? Come down. The same fella who was shouting me out of his car is at the door. Asking me, um, oh, yeah, I've just retired, mate, blah, blah. That's how old he was. He was about 60, something. Yeah, just, you, if you got anyone in your family, jump him. And I was like, yeah, I'd jump me. Dad's brother. He lives in London. Oh, no, it's not the same one then. It's not the same one. But then proceeded to stand there and talk to me for like five or ten minutes. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to have to go now, lad, because I've got to get ready to go to the gym. You no, know, like, the reason you know me. Like, I need to go and train, uh, the, lad. The bigger this is getting, and <clears throat> stand up, obviously, putting clips out, whatever. I really sort of appreciate people coming up and getting pictures and stuff. But I've got such a short amount of views when someone just won't go away. Like, it's, yeah, I get, you really like it's what we way do. way of doing it in there. Let's have a picture, nice little chat. But when they're just like, so, where are we going next? It's oh, like, lad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did a show, we did a show in September, and I'm new to this. Adam's, like, on his third or fourth tour, 
Like I'm going on my first tour. I've been doing stand up longer, but he's been dealing with like a, a level of fame m- yeah. much longer than I have. We we had the same amount of people doing a queue. I, it was weird because the venue we had the stage in the middle. They'd all been sat in the middle. Adam was on one side and and started having selfies taken, and I was on the other. And like two queues formed. Uh, Adam took about twenty five minutes to clear a hundred people. Just like, yeah, nice one. Brilliant. Thanks for coming. I was with my queue for nearly a fucking hour because I'm such a twat. I was like, really? Yeah. And then your auntie died, did she? (laughs) Oh, I'm really sad about that. Yeah. No, let's have another. I just, I haven't learned the nice one. Thanks so much. The the worst ones are on a nice out, lad. I don't, so. Where people are charlie and just chew your fucking ear off. Yeah. Uh, So I can put up with it because I know it's part of our job. Yeah. But what I feel bad for like is, I went out with my little brother last week and we went to Red Door in Liverpool. I've done a fucking heavy time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to like try and scrape the bits. Like. <laughs> That's like me with a bag of coke and there's more <laughs> licking. <laughs> <laughs> Don't throw that away. <laughs> um, I don't mind it, but I always feel like whoever I'm out with gets annoyed. My bed hates it. Yeah, well, I remember. So I... I was out with my ex and we met you yeah. and your missus in 54 and stayed out with you for a bit. I love and that picture. Of me and him. <laughs> it's it's sickest picture that life. It's like ha- absolutely hammered the photo. <laughs> Please, can we put that in here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good. You've both lost all your chill. <laughs> um, my cheeks are out here. <laughs> Look like a chipmunk. But both of the girls hated the con. Like, obviously, him a lot more than me. But the constant, like, oh, I could have just come over and tell you everything that's ever happened to me, and then uh, we'll take a picture, and then I'll tell you even more that hasn't even happened yet, but I'm open to happen. Like, it's it was constant, and yet yeah, your missus was just like, this is doing my uh, fucking She hates it, lad. I could, obviously, lad, it's been happening in Liverpool for years, because when we went to Creamfields in, like, 2019, before the pandemic and that is, like, when, like, a group of girls would come over and ask me for a picture, and my birds would be stood there, like, oh, jeez. <laughs> I mean, that's something that people like, really... they, should, they should ask me first. And I'm like, come on, Laura. Like, Excuse I just, me, madam. Yeah. <laughs> I say yeah to everyone. Like, it's just one of them. I just say yeah to everyone. Like, I'd never say no to someone. I, I can't help myself, lad. It's just, if I if anyone ever, if I ever went to go over to someone and say, like, can I get a picture with you? And he said no, I'd hate them for the rest of my life. I'd think, who do you think you are, you piece of well, shit? It's five yeah. no, seconds I know, yeah. to you, it's yeah. huge for them, isn't it? It's exactly. Like, well, there's a way of doing it. Isn't yeah. There? Yeah, but, like, you'd be sound about it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I think that is something that no one really talks about. When you sort of start building a profile, what your friends and especially your missus or your partner has to put up with when you use it out together. Yeah. And obviously, like, you you and Laura are big night out people now because you, you, you're you at a certain stage of your life. You're still young and going out with your missus in Liverpool. Yeah. And, like... It's different level. The way but, it's when you're eating, lad. So that's, that's what does my head in. So last, last week I went to... Wait for me to watch, finish my meal. And I watched the Inter over. game in McCoolies in Concert Square yeah. with my little brother and Tony. Who, uh, do you know Tony? Carol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me, 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 Tony and I, Jack, are watching a match. And literally, my food got brought over. And I was li- I literally just put the first bit of food in my mouth. And someone came over and was like, Are you meeting all right? Love the pod. Can I just get a picture? And I went, No, mate, I'm having my dinner. I went, Come back at half time. Like, literally, just come back at half time. And he's like, Oh, all right, sound. And he did. And he was all right about it. But I was like, yeah. If someone's fucking eating. Fuck off. Yeah. Go away. That's rude. I was, I was in Nando's with Etta in Ellesmere Port. Uh, just me, me and my daughter. She's only five. So we sat away and this guy walked up the aisle. And like, you know, when you're just in a restaurant, you sit, you clock eyes with people anyway. Yeah. And then just as he passed, he went, All right, King Lid. And just walked out. Just gave me a little, gave me a little. Yeah. I'll, he used a little bit of code the word. Fight club. So yeah. fight club way of doing it. Yeah. Just, so, just a little so like, Etta, Etta I know never even knew. So I don't have to go. She's like, who's that daddy? Don't have to have that conversation. Oh, daddy does a podcast with loads of his fucking mates and it's absolutely <laughs> ludicrous. And this guy, listen, don't have to do that. He just went, right, mate. He, and use the code like a king lid. Yeah. And then just fucked off, gave me yeah, a smile. Yeah. I'm like, what a yeah, fucking leg. the fight club model, innit? That's cool. the perfect way to do it. Yeah, it is. Either a quick like, can I just get a quick picture? Oh, I love what you do. Nice one, mate. Have a good night. Which is what most people do. At the hand. Super Bowl, those boys were sound. They were yeah. like, ah, is it all right? Is yeah, it all right? Yeah. And then they were apologising. But it's fine. They just I don't even mind a quick, like, two-minute conversation. Yeah. It's when you get to the natural end of a conversation and, and they go, in. 
So yeah. uh, lad, I was in Riley's watching the Kelbrook Khan fight and Sasha Jones fight last week, and I was with Ronnie O'Sullivan. He was sitting in there watching <laughs> as that. You, as you do in Riley's, lad, sit with was, Ronnie was sick, lad. He's a he's a fucking belty, you know, proper proper sound fella. But lad, I'm sitting in there, and lad, whenever the kid that was sat next to me went to the toilet or something, this same lad kept coming over and sitting down and just chewing me ear off and talking proper pony. You know what I mean? Like chatting crazy wham. Chatting pony. Lad, I swear. The body. <laughs> lad, he was just sitting crazy there talking wham. shit. And I'm too nice, lad. I don't say, oh, no, what, lad? You, you've got a picture with me about fucking two hours ago. You keep coming over talking shit. Go away. I'm too nice, lad. I can't say that to, to people unless they're fucking d- drilling it down here. But like, I was like, yeah, man. Sad, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Showing me pictures of his brother. Like, oh, do you remember him? He got a picture with you three years ago. <laughs> oh yeah, I do. Yeah, you know I mean, that's the way. You know, but people get... remember crowd work from comedy clubs, <laughs> so they'll come up to me like, and they'll be like, "Oh, lad, you leathered me six years and four months ago. <laughs> do you remember? <laughs> I work in IT. <laughs> I work in IT. I had like a yellow top on. I was there with me on my first date. She's me missing. I was pregnant, lad. But yeah, our first date, lad. Do you remember? I've got your heckle put down in a tattoo. <laughs> Lad. Lad the, another fella who was sitting on a table by us who'd got a picture with me earlier on the night and where he'd come over like the sixth time he ended up standing up and coming over and going, Lad, not being funny or nothing. Leave the kid alone. He's being fu- You've come over constantly. You know oh, what I mean? Yes. Leave him alone, lad. I like a random a fella. Yeah, yeah. And like I just looked at him and just went, yes, lad. Is there anyone I mean? since you've been involved with the UFC? Because obviously, like I've met you twice now, and you 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 love the game, don't you? Yeah. Like I remember when when I met you at Content, you were talking about. I said, "Oh, I'm from Preston." And you were like, "Oh yeah, you knew a, a UFC fight from Preston." And yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there has there been any point where you've met someone who you used to watch in the UFC, like a legend, where you've gone, "Fuck, I want a selfie." Or do you just not have that in you? No, it's because they're in the same game as me. You I don't reckon you would ever ask a comedian. I don't reckon you would ever so, ask a comedian. There's th- maybe there's one maybe fighter. One or two that- there's maybe yeah. There's maybe one fighter who I'd ask, and it's just because you've looked up to him for years. Minotaro Noguera. Yeah. He's the only, and he's retired now. I, I think he's like. <laughs> you got to I think he's. I think Big a- Nog. I think Big yeah. Nog could be the only person that I'd say. But Chappelle, I- Chappelle for you. I I think there'd only be no, one person I, I'd no, be starstruck. I'd, with. Ask, I, I'd ask Chappelle I'd for a picture Jürgen if Klopp. I opened for him. Clock, yeah. He'd be the, the only person I reckon I could meet and be starstruck. I reckon it'd be Jürgen Have you not Klopp. met him yet? No. That's mad. I'd just be like, this man is a god. <laughs> yeah, I'd ask, I'd ask Klopp for a picture. Defo? Yeah. Like I was with Carragher the other night. I'd yeah. watch him Ronnie on the Sunday. And I didn't really want to ask him for a picture because I know that many people ask him for a picture and I know what it's like. You yeah. know what I mean? So I didn't want, I didn't even want to like be like, oh, you get a picture with me. You know what I mean? Because he gets cased for it anyway, just like yeah. I do. Yeah. It's like that with me and Lee Carsley. I think there's some people that you just look up to so much. And <laughs> If you met Lee Carsley, you wouldn't be able to hold it in. <laughs> you've, always, you've always wanted to be a below average centre midfielder. But that's why I cut my hair like this, you know? I'm a car's head. I'm a car's Is that what his fans are called? <laughs> Oh lad, the way you said that one before, though, people come up to me and go, "Lad, remember we was in a party in 2016." I'm like, "Yeah, but to really? them, to them, really, that's a lad? memory. And yeah, yeah. that's just another. That's just Saturday another night. night out. Back then as well, when I was out doing stupid shit every single weekend, out like two, three night, three nights a weekend. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like an absolute tit. I can't even remember half of them nights, lad, because I was that fucking off me barnet. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, where I'm a proper professional now, I don't do nothing like that anymore, so I can remember a lot more now. But still, I can't... I can't. Things, things have changed. Yeah, things have you're, changed. You're lad. looking at peanut butter fucking exactly, drizzle flapjack. Lad. Exactly. Are you doing Saturday? You're going to get on it, lads? Yeah, lad, I've got fucking macro chef dropping off a load of fucking <laughs> peanut butter drizzle cakes. Lad, lad you want to see the red Heavy velvet flapjack. cookies, lad? <laughs> <laughs> they got, lad, they got dropped last night and they were still warm. Lad, I swear to God, I was stood in the kitchen standing there I went, oh, these are still what? I normally don't eat them when they come because, as I said, being the match and I had a three course meal, I shouldn't even really say this on this because I might get shouted at, but I even had the dessert. <laughs> this chocolate orange You're dessert. You're paying for it, lad? Or lad, someone has? Yeah, this chocolate orange dessert, lad. Wow, it was heavy. Like, I'm not really the biggest. I like Terry's chocolate orange, but I'm not the biggest fan. I like fruit flavoured chocolate. Yeah. But, lad, it was proper heavy. So when I got home, I was like, I won't eat nothing. And I had the pie at half time. 
I said, I won't even eat nothing. Got <laughs> old, lad. On half time pie. I was like, I won't eat nothing. Diet. Yeah, and then when I got in, lad, I, t- I opened them just to see how they were, f- and I felt in them. I was like, Ooh. oh my god, lad! It was if, as I picked it up, the other half fell. <laughs> it was that soft, lad. <laughs> it feels like we've turned into a fucking Weight Watchers lad, podcast. I, sta- I had oh, to how eat them. Was it? How lad, was I was it? sitting there eating it. Lad, I was stood in the kitchen with my eyes closed. Lad, just like it's like him last night with the bum hole. So what are you doing? Lad, dead hot. I was basically stood in the kitchen, lad, eating this cookie, just like that. Getting pink eye from red velvet cake. Oh. Like, lad, I swear, it was rock hard. I mean, it was, it was the opposite of rock hard. It was soft, lad. Oh, it, it was that good. The next ones I eat, I'm going to have to put in the microwave for 10 seconds just to get them a nice little bit soft. Lad, are it these, was like... Are these guys sponsoring you? Because I feel like we are... Yeah. These yeah. Sponsor, lad, give them the due, lad. Macro Chef have sponsored me for like five years. Right. Like, I've been getting food off them for, like, four or five years, lad, and at the minute, lad, it's perfect because my weight is absolutely on point. Like, I haven't got to worry about... Like, I used to have to worry about making weight. Like, when I fought Julian and Rosa, lad, I found out I was making weight when I was stood in a cave party and absolutely off my barnet. Um, <laughs> four weeks out, and I was 84 kilo, and I had to weigh in at 66. Jeez. So I had 18 key to lose in four weeks. You're in a cave with fucking glow sticks and just going fucking... Lad, with a Jenny on and Dex and that. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you've never seen nothing like it, lad. <laughs> this sick as fame. <laughs> like, oh, he is! <laughs> it, was, it was mad, but lad. And Macro Chef helped you get down that. Macro Chef helped me make weight now, yeah, because obviously I don't have to worry about me cooking food. Because you just know that's what you're eating. That's what I'm eating, yeah. Like, yeah. me missus will cook teas some nights. You know what I mean? Like, and she still moans at me because I've never cooked a scran in our house. Uh, and we moved in... Not December gone, the one before. Sorry, Laura Gale, but <laughs> I ain't no chef. Um, and she cooks scrand some nights, but when I eat them, lad, I just I know how many calories I'm getting. Yeah. Every every cal- to the like, gram, as it says on that one, it tells you how many calories in it, what protein, what carbs, what fats. Every scan's like that. Like when I finished my sparring before, I had mac and cheese off them. Um, when I finished my boxing session, I had a ham hock and coleslaw wrap. That had the, f- the mac and cheese had 425 calories in. The wrap had 310 calories in. So if you're looking to lose weight, try Macro Chef. <laughs> I, I did the meal prep things for like two weeks, and I ended up just getting a chippy every night and throwing it in a bin. Because I just I, I just got really bored of it. Nah, I'll that be wasn't honest, Macro like, Chef. We're not trying to damage all yeah. that. <laughs> no, no, it was a different one. <laughs> and, the other, and they're great. I'll be honest, with like the week after the fight, like sometimes I am, like as you say, you go and get a chippy or... As, you, as I said before, I go and get three main meals from somewhere. So I don't even have room for Macro Chef. I end up like, I don't normally get them the week after the fight. Don't but have if room. It, I love how you're still fucking trying. I've had my three mains at Gusto, but got to get back and get that 200 calorie cake in now. <laughs> he he had sure gelato had in the queue. Lad, if it's a heavy one, lad, I've got to try and get it in, lad. Like, lad, the mac and cheese, lad, I swear to God, I feel like fingering myself as I'm eating it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Clip that off for some Lad, <laughs> chi- lad it's that. fucking. Chicken chorizo mac and cheese, lad. Lad, it's fucking gangster. Like, even when I'm not on a diet, I'd eat it, lad. It's fucking powerful. Have you got any other sponsors? You must have had some fucking weird... Barstool? Uh, that's fucking massive, Barstool's the sickest sponsor massive. ever, lad. Barstool, so that's massive, isn't it? Massive, lad. Barstool are the boys, lad. Have you had any stuff offered to you that you're like, nah, I'm not getting involved? Or is it... Yeah, I, I'll be honest now, I don't even deal with any of that. I just... Get on you just have your manager, manager and yeah, all manager through me manager. This, this yeah. is happening. There you go. You do that. Yeah. Like I, when I did Paddy's podcast the other week, like I know we turn up and just record, especially me. It, we turn up and we turn it on and everything happens. But you turn up at Liverpool Podcast Studios and you're just like, yeah, we're doing this. And the lads just do it, don't yeah. you? Yeah. You're just there the to The fucking record. dream. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, just, lad, I just The dream I, that you live. I, I just pay for the studio, lad, and they yeah, yeah, did yeah, all yeah. my shit for me, and that, know what I mean? I don't, lad, I'm no techno wizard, lad, I haven't got a fucking clue what's going on. The amount of hate I got, like, a lot of love as well, but the amount of hate I got for that clip I put out. The Gary Barlow one? The ga- the tribute- fuck Gary Barlow. The, the tribute act, fuck <laughs> you, lad. <laughs> the tribute act clip, I put it out, and the amount of people who were like, uh, how dare you uh, even feel, feel the need to take the piss out of any man making a living? I'm like, fucking hell, mate, I'm having a laugh, do you know what I mean? I don't really hate them. I mean, I do, actually. Like, let's double down. Let's double down. Yeah, double down on it, These acts. <laughs> Pathetic scum. How they can get any woman to fuck them is beyond me. I don't know how any woman can look at a Gary... Someone wearing a wig to look a little bit more like Gary Barlow and then being like, do you know what? Did you see He's the one the we got tagged in? The Peter K one? Yeah. 
I was looking at that like Adam's gonna be fuming. I'm coming to the act. I wouldn't even start talking about because they're the lowest of the low. Like a musical tribute act is horrific as it is. At least he can sing, no. You know what I mean? At least yeah. he's got a little bit of talent he can sing. <laughs> like that fella just looks like Peter Kay. No, the lowest of the low is the person who buys tickets to go and see <laughs> the well, Peter, Peter Kay Kay's tribute. entire set is remembering things. So this guy is someone remembering someone remembering things. <laughs> I That's got, what he's doing for a living. We've slugged them off before, and I got some, I got one in my Instagram DMs. I got a PK tribute act sliding in my DMs, like, if you want to come and see me, you can. <laughs> I'm in Warrington, St. Ellen's, and I was like, oh, I I'd rather do it. lick my own arsehole <laughs> all night, and including the yoga that I would have to do in the months building up to doing it. I would rather do yoga to the point I'm flexible enough to lick my own. IBS ridden arsehole. Gonna need them then fucking. Then watch ten minutes of a Peter K. Gonna need act. them red eye eye drops again. <laughs> he's having a fucking nightmare. It's really stinging. Oh, oh he's suffering. Your ass. He's suffering, Paddy. <laughs> what is it? Like, pi- p- piles or IBS? Or? <laughs> he meant his eye. Let me eye stinging. Oh. <laughs> I do think it is IBS though. Yeah. <laughs> I've got IBS in me eye. I've got irritable. I syndrome. I B S. I I B S. Oh my can god! Can we have a break so I can go and check on my piles? Uh. <laughs> Here, let me just try. Mama, like, Mama like that. Mama, Mama like, like that. that. <laughs> Today's podcast is sponsored by the subscription coffee service Packed Coffee. I like the coffee. It's very good. Award-winning speciality <laughs> coffee. This is going to be a fun advert. A hundred percent speciality grade, freshly roasted to perfection for your order. There are over fifteen different coffees on the menu at any given time to choose from, including Great Taste twenty 2020 twenty and twenty twenty one winners. It's genuinely that good, and the coffee is so good. They put the name of the farmer that they got it from. That's how good they are with their. Like sources, they they're like, listen, this is Jeff's coffee, John's coffee, Giuliano's coffee. You get to know who's making it, and genuinely, I'm becoming a bit of a coffee snob because I used to be a Starbucks guy, and I still am when I need to be. But these uh, these little fruity ones, these little rare ones, more ethical. coffee. It's more ethical as well. You can pause, cancel, or change your plan at any time. It doesn't have to be delivered at the start of the month or every Wednesday. You get it when you want, delivered through the letterbox. Make a pack coffee. Sorry, make a pack to make coffee. Make a cat pack to make better coffee. So if you haven't tried pack yet, all new customers get a free V60 and filter kit when they first sign up to a packed plan. Go to packedcoffee.com. That's P-A-C-T coffee.com. Create your flexible coffee subscription. Use the code WORD. The code is WORD. W-O-R-D. Use that at checkout. You get your free brewing kit with your order. The code is valid for new customers. When you create a packed coffee plan, you get speciality coffee through your letterbox. Don't wait. Go to packcoffee.com and create your coffee subscription. And you'll feel like me. Like a Jordan Cell Bunny who's had a line of cocaine. He's hyped just reading. That's how good it is. Woo! Draymond's here. Here we are. It's the final <laughs> section. Um, I've got a would you rather that I don't think is a good idea. Let's do that then. Let's do it. We're going to do it anyway. (laughs) This one's from uh, Jamie's. Okay. Wag wag lids. Uh, Here's one for the pod. Would you rather have to speak in that Mother Teresa accent for the rest of your life? Yes. Yes. (laughs) Including stand up and podcast. Oh, no. It's basically Consuela from Family Guy. Yeah. Jeez. Superman, no. no home. No. <laughs> no. I love Mother Teresa. I'd love to see you do a post fight interview mm. in that accent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a scout, sir, if we don't get knocked down. <laughs> How do you like me now? <laughs> or, or, that's forever, by the way. Right. Podcast and comedy. Or, and post match interviews with Bisping. Yes. And the scouts don't get knocked out. Um, or once a year, Retreat. get bummed by a panda. So there's your options. <laughs> Would you rather have you to might this? Die is though, getting bummed by yeah. a panda. Yeah, but pandas are notoriously like can't Jam- be ass fucking. Well, this one bums just once a year. <laughs> like Father Christmas. I don't think the pandas that. However, really it, so I'll, I'll however, the date and location of the bombing is a complete surprise each year and it's completely random. Well, it's not that random because when you saw a panda with his dick out, you'd be like, I know what's coming here. Have not even with his dick with out. His dick out? It's just when you see a panda. Because when, when, when do oh, you God, normally see a panda? Yeah. When do you normally see a panda? Is that what you're saying? You'd see a panda and be like, hang on. Can't see his cock. 
It won't be today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. A panda's dick is three centimeters long. An adult panda. No wonder they can't be our shagging. They wouldn't be involved. Fucking hell, I'm it. getting bummed by well, a panda and do that voice then, me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck that voice, love, for the rest of your life. I imagine panda pussy is quite massive. Cavernous, even. A three centimeter dick. It's like fucking. Fucking that... hell, I have well bigger shits than that. Yeah. I've had scratches that are worse than a panda bumming. I've had a finger in my I don't think he's thought anywhere. that question through. He never checked how big a panda's dick is, him, lad. No chance. <laughs> He didn't, lad, or he would have said an elephant or a horse or something. Know what I mean? An elephant or a horse? Options. Oh, no. Two and three. I don't know. I think, I think I might take the panda bum in. I, I, I would rather than speak in that fucking voice. Yeah. Yes. No. It's a story as well, isn't it? It's not good. Imagine being late. Because you're all oh, getting shagged by a panda. So. <laughs> That's what happened to him this morning. Once a year. <laughs> yeah. That's the only like, problem. Absolute nightmare. Car crashed and I got bummed by a panda. Be there in 10. <laughs> It's only three I was an hour and a half late today, Paddy, and they haven't let it go. An hour and 40. <laughs> Shit <laughs> happens, how does they say? Things get in the way sometimes. Things do get in the way. Shit, Shit did happen. Sleep. <laughs> Old panda pink hair. <laughs> Lad, I'll never get over that question when I was live there in content, when it was like, when the bird had been seeing two brothers... And like I was sitting there, and then like you said the names, and you're like, "Shit, we weren't supposed to say the names." <laughs> oh my God. That was sick, lad. Pad- Paddy, we did it today. No, yeah, I was just, yeah. and I was just episode. thinking, slag. Like both brothers deserve better. You little harlot. And if you haven't seen it, you can go and watch the live show on Patreon.com/slash Pod. And what an advert that was. <laughs> Oh, I know why that was so justified. That, that is, that's that's very that's more than justified. She's a little fucking hobo. Hobo? <laughs> is that a new the, one for you? The Winter Olympics, that, isn't it? She is definitely a cock stash, like. You know what I mean? Cockstash. She stashes dicks. Is this a mirror? <laughs> <laughs> see, see why these two get on. <laughs> hobo! Panda pussy! Uh, <laughs> cock stash. <laughs> can, I, can I have a selfie, lads? Fuck off! Panda pussy is massive. Fact. You're not a cock stash. <laughs> I know what though I can remember I, I used to always swam me mate Fentry up calling him a cockstash and then uh, is he like, gay? But, no it's just oh. a wind up lad I just yeah. say to him and then uh, I can remember us being on the cage warriors coach back to I'd been doing his head in for two days we were on the coach back to the hotel it was COVID like proper COVID time so like he had to just get on a coach to get back to the hotel and lad he ended up turning me and going lad what is a cockstash lad come on <laughs> and I just turned to him and Someone that stashes cock in and around the mouth and their arsehole. And lad, the whole coach just erupted into laughter. But lad, I got it up on the Urban Dictionary. What a cock stash actually is. It's on the Urban Dictionary. And lad, it said, when someone's asleep and you rape their mouth, I was like, whoa. Like, that's, that's, and like, it used a sentence. Get lad, get it up. It said a get sentence. It up. Like, Google when, that. Check that. Uh, it says, can, you also, can you also check how big Panda Pussy is? Let's let's get it all out. Can you just get it? Do check how big Panda Pussy is. And just, just and just see, it says it says an example. Is this on? No. What what's the example? The act of raping someone while they are sleeping. But what it uses it in a sentence? Go ahead. Oh, what is it? Jane was mad. Use it in a oh, sentence. Listen, no, listen to this. Mic. Listen Give to this. Mic. Jane was mad when she found out Joe cockstashed her. I think found she'd be out. more than mad if someone had just <laughs> cockstashed her. Also, that's the past tense. That means he did it. He did cockstash she her. She didn't wake up, and months later, she was like, hey, hey. He put hey. his dick in me mouth when I was asleep. He what cocks- the fuck? He cockstashed me. Yeah, like, what, what the, the fuck? Get the cockstash mug. Oh, that- my God, they've got fucking merch. Oh, my God, they've got a cockstash mug. <laughs> They've got a cockstash mug. $33. I know, for a hell. fucking mug, the robber hang, bastards. Hang on. Has Urban Dictionary just oh, got an... It's got the definition on. on it. It's got the definition on it, yeah. The act of raping someone right, while right. they are sleeping by putting your dick in their mouth and or making them give you a blowjob. Have, have Urban Dictionary got an automated merch thing yeah. Yeah, so yeah, they don't realise they're selling rape mugs? Yeah. <laughs> nice one, Urban Dictionary. Maybe wanted to check some of the meanings of the... Um, no, hell, no, 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 that- no. They're not condoning it. That's informative. Uh, and no, on, and that's they're a, also dishwashable. Like, where did the day toilet paper? They're also dishwashable. And microwavable. <laughs> fucking hell, lad. If you put something like that on Instagram, you get fucking banned. You can't say nothing on that nowadays. And Urban Dictionary, you're just selling it on yeah, mugs. Yeah. But you shouldn't really be selling $32.95 rape mugs. <laughs> Should you? Agreed. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's a, We can all agree on. on that one. Hey, why can't you just put 
Fucking pandas have big pussies. Get it on a mug. <laughs> and they'll be available at haveawordpod.com. <laughs> we should absolutely sell those mugs. Oh, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pandas have Size big pussies. Size of your fucking panda pussy. <laughs> Lad, you, you... I reckon he must be tiny if a male panda's got a three centimetre cock. But maybe that's why they're not fucking. Because <laughs> it's maybe, just shit. Maybe they're, maybe they've it's got like throwing a sausage down an entry. Vaginas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe they've got a big cavernous vagina. And when they're <laughs> fucking, they're not really feeling anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> Old Johnny innuendos back. You know what I mean? You, know you know just can't feel the cock. <laughs> the panda. Small. The panda penis. It's just fun, isn't it? Panda pussy is just so alliterative and fun. Uh, let's go on, because obviously we're pretty sensible guys. We need to help people sort their lives out. People ask, people ask for advice. Oh. Adams. Adams. Adam. 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 Agony Adam. Agony Adam. So, the best thing what happened was... If you you were writing in, and they realised that you no one really expected advice from me. Agony Adam. So it's now the Ag- Agony Adam section. Lovely. Um, Dan's playing the theme tune. We can't hear it. Uh, well. um, Hi, Lids. I do it in a serious voice because it's serious, Paddy. You've got to really, this has got to take this seriously. Hi, Lids. Looking for a bit of advice from Agony Adam and Grandad Dave. Word. A uh, bit of an odd one. During the lockdown, living back with my parents and brother, getting rather bored. Ended up chat, chatting a lot to the newly divorced 54-year-old neighbour. I'm 22. Seem friendly and gradually... Scouser. <laughs> Cockstash. Man's on that. Man's on that milf, George. Seem friendly and gradually started becoming more flirty. As things opened up... And be- this sounds like a porno. I know, it does. It's uh, sounds like you talking as, about as He was coming in, uh, she asked me to fix her taps, and when I was underneath, she was just there with a skirt and no knickers on. Fucking <laughs> hell, baby, you're leaking. As things opened up, <laughs> and people of her house and my own started going out more, got to a point where we ended up shagging, and it's become uh, a naughty little secret around it. And is this it, a, a girl or a boy? This is a boy, and a regular thing. Yeah, it's sound. Then if it was a bitch, it would have been a little slut, but it's a boy, it's sound. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that's irony. Adam seeing that's, himself in uh, a new light himself. That's irony, guys. Um, I hope. But I have two problems. What do I do long term to get out? To me, it's just a shag, but don't know what this means to her, especially after being divorced. So, what should I do? Secondly, her daughter and my brother, both 15, are in the same class at school. So just in preparation, what do I do if she if she comes home to see me raw dogging her mum, knowing she'll almost certainly tell my brother and therefore my family will find out? Any advice would be much appreciated. I mean, don't be doing Cheers, it in the living lids. room at quarter past three in the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's your first bit of advice right there. That, that's what I would say. I would avoid the school run living room fuck. Yeah. If it was me, that, that's what I would suggest as a bit of advice to avoid that situation. Um, I th- I think just, you know, you get an, a, an older slice of the old a pussy, and I just think keep cracking with it. And she's a woman of uh, of age. Of the cloth. You know? Yeah, I'll just keep going. She'll <laughs> die eventually. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> yeah. She's seen it all before, lad, and she know what I mean? She's been there, uh, married, divorced. If she gets attached, lads, she's going to have to fucking move out. Paddy, you're in a relationship, obviously, but what is your, you're single, how old are you? Um, lad, I've been with my bed since I was 16, lad. Oh my God. I've so never this... been near a MILF. So, Laura's gone. <laughs> just imagine, just, to, oh my God, we get to do it. Oh shit, So yeah. just imagine, Laura's gone, right? <laughs> Where's she gone, Adam? So, <laughs> your bed, she was watching you fight at the UFC and she got chatting to Dana and Dana was like, do you know what? I'm into me scouse birds and she just fell in love and you can't even hold it against her because she's just like he's a billionaire isn't he and like, you're doing well on that but like obviously it's Dana White so she was like look Paddy I know it's bad and all that but I just want Dana's dick from now for the rest of your life I just need to leave and you were like Do you know what girl I get it Sam. plus no. plus Dana's got a gate at the end of the drive and no one knocks on for fucking selfies yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for a change so Laura's gone is the point <laughs> My wife's called Laura. We we do that joke a lot. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> how old are you now? Twenty seven. Twenty seven. I have to think. What's about your Jesus. What's your Say you're out there, Laura's with Dana. What's your single man? What's your top top end? What's your range for the ladies? Age wise. How would you age wise? Don't know. It depends how they look. Really, doesn't it? Know what I mean? Say they look good, but they're creaking. Do you know what I mean? She's fucking hot with like a seventy year old, but she's. 
quite clearly I'd worked on and it's worked out all right. Oh yeah, fuckable, but with a bus pass. On it. Like, yeah, I don't think I could go near any with a bus pass. Like, yeah. No. Uh, let me let me, let me let's, 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 let what what are we saying? What are we saying? Seventies too low. Let me take you down to sixty five. Would you go? Would you go sixty five. No. Two, two, okay, so cool, cool, cool. Sixty. Would you go down to uh, late fifties? Late fifties. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, now Maybe. we're talking, lad. Now we're talking. Me, ma- me ma is sixty two, lad. So I couldn't go any older than that. You know what I mean, it's fucking it's a bit weird. How old is Amanda Holden? Ah. She now. Amanda she's Holden. definitely not sixty. She's dead. She's not sixty. She's in her fifty. Have a look. Tess, Tess Daly's fucking ancient. Tess Daly. She's not. 65. Like here's one for you. Hey, how old's Kate Garraway? Would you goose Kate Garraway? <laughs> I mean, no. 51. I only thought that because my beard was watching a program on her last night. So just What's the one where her husband head? is now severely disabled, yeah, yeah. and you feel like there's a gap in the market. <laughs> How old she? <laughs> oh, so you're saying you're available, Kate? Awful for years, Amanda obviously, Holden, for you 51, and the family. Amanda Holden, Fifty-one. Fifty-one. Kate Gadaway. Fifty-four. Tess she- Daly's sixty-eight. <laughs> Check. She's well fit. She's Tess dead old. Daily, am I thinking of? She's a hundred. Isn't that the one who's with Vane and Kay? Yeah. She's fifty-two. Oh, Ooh, mate. Geez. Tess Daily skim routine, mate. Fucking hell. And Vernon's a right shag daily as well. Now, if you speak to a conspiracy theorist, he'd say she drinks baby blood. <laughs> speak oh to God. Adam then. How mu- have you been hanging out secretly, you two? <laughs> no, I, I ate all that shit. It's a load of pony. Oh, there you go. It's a load of pony. That's it. She uh, Tess Daily drinks baby blood. No, I'm just exclusive? saying all them weirdos that oh. think COVID's not real and that. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I think COVID's that... real, but I also think Hillary Clinton needs kids. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm, a, I'm not like a, a one-size-fits-all conspiracy theorist. Yeah, that, you're nice. At least, like you, at least you're one of them. I'm like, do you know what? I'll, I'll take have that a bit there, but, but that's all the bullshit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having it. There's, there's loads of nonsense, know what I mean? I'm just not having it, the torturing kids and drinking their blood, lad. It's a bit too far-fetched for me. Yeah. Well, you know, if you watch uh, the right documentaries, you might change your mind. <laughs> Where are they? On the dark web. <laughs> <laughs> They're not on YouTube, them ones. Like. They're not easily accessible. <laughs> on Vivo. <laughs> Gotta um, have a VPN to get them. <laughs> right, let's do some other words. Fucking hell. We never got to the end of giving him advice either, there, did he? What? Do you know what? I love it when people take this shit seriously. <laughs> I honestly thought with the way your career is going, you might be like, mate, we can't do Mother Teresa's voice and Panda Dick. And you were like, <laughs> you literally got straight in. I love it when people take it seriously. Um, I, they just need I don't to, think like, there's anything wrong with it. You I need don't to just think. crack on. Just as you said, don't get caught shagging at half three on the living room floor. By the, cause, and don't yeah. tell your little brother because he'll fucking terrorise the bird the rest 22 of his life. 22 to 54 It's a big old... It's a big old jump, in it? I'm not asked me. It's double his age plus 10 years. Know what I mean? Fast maths. Yeah. Seven like, minutes, that's all. <laughs> like he's, he, he's going to learn a few things that he didn't fucking know that he could learn, though, isn't he? Know what I mean? Yeah. Like, boggle. <laughs> yeah, like CPR. I think to fuck a woman, to le- fuck a woman that old, you need to know, like... Mouth to mouth resuscitation. Just I like, hope he's got a big tool on him or he is throwing a sausage down at entry, isn't he? Fucking Do hell. you assume that old women have bigger... Vaginas. Oh, yeah. Oh, this has been a rough one today. <laughs> Why has it been rough? It has been a What is fucking... wrong with that question? Oh, especially if... it's just a rough lad, question. Especially if she's divorced, dilate. lad. If she's divorced, lad, she's being shoved nine inch dillies <laughs> right up her. You know what I mean? Have you ever seen an old stretch arm strong? <laughs> it's never as taut, is it? <laughs> like Drogba. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> So you think this woman yeah. has got a drug with Fanny? <laughs> I didn't you can say do it. this, innit? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I <laughs> my my favourite episodes are where Dan ends up uncomfortable. This is great. It's all good. <laughs> all good, baby, baby. <laughs> I I go for it, mate. You're 22. It's the best time to be doing stupid shit, innit? Yeah, it you is. You always hope I fall in love for it. Thir- no, as long as you don't fall in love, lad, don't. Yeah, don't don't do that, lads. Don't fall for a fucking hard one. Know what I mean? She's getting a bus pass in like 10 years. Don't be falling for that. Yeah, yeah. for that. What? Or you get an inheritance from your missus who dies of natural <laughs> causes when you're 33. Push her down the stairs. Yeah. I love Barbara, and I've now I've got a house. <laughs> fucking great. Over the, road, hey, over the road from your mars. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a scouse stream. <laughs> I've got a stepdaughter six years younger than me. I don't oh. know, man. 30 is an interesting age because when you're single at 30, uh-huh. the top, like, you can go, you can easily go 45. 
you could go. I'd do 50. 20? 21? 50 as an upper limit. 50 to, That's a to, big age to, range. For marriage it? or like just second No, marriage? no, not for marriage, no. But I'm, I'm talking about. No, if I fell in love with a 50 year old, I could, I could live with You're that. not falling in love with a 50 year old. Oh, but if I did. But we're not allowing it. You've become, you're very, yeah. you're very liberal today. Like at 50 year olds, OnlyFans girls, you're into it. You've, you're, 50 year old OnlyFans, they have to be mutually exclusive, actually. It can't be both. No. <laughs> No. I, I don't want a 50 year old who's getting a rat out for money, but you know, a 50 year old who has to get a stable yeah. job. Who has to get you to work the internet for her. Oh, I'm off. It's thrown me off the Wi Fi, Adam. <laughs> I've got and come she's on. 50, not 85. 50 is like, you're as close to 50 as you are to my age. Oh my God. That's it, it's for you. He's closer. That, you know. He's closer. Yeah. Now I feel uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. It's time to have a word. Eyelids, we're doing some other words. Eyelids, can you have a word with Adam and explain that people wearing invisible socks aren't always pedos? He <laughs> noticed my sockless ankles in Birmingham and assumed I touch kids. Outrageous. Cheers, fellas. That's from Matt. Tell you why, right would you, lad, why would you wear invisible socks anyway to the point in socks? Fucking helmet. I don't even need to do this podcast anymore. <laughs> I feel like whenever I'm not here... It, I know we've had good guest co-hosts like Ashan and Brennan. I think Paddy should just come and do it because it's I, like having a, a more a more off the leash me. I've been saying it to the, the me American mates who are over blazing, chasing lad. They, they wear white socks with anything. Lad, stop it. You look like a crazy woolly back. Get the white socks off with like blue jeans and black shoes. You look like a fucking divvy. Get yeah. your black socks off. That's international, isn't it? Yeah, like you can't. Oh, lad. But this cunt was in the middle of the show. And went to the toilet 10 minutes into my set. Uh, 10 right. minutes into an hour set. And I was like, oh, go on, lad, fuck off. And he goes to the toilet. And I noticed he had no socks on. So to get a laugh in the room that he was fucking making shit, I went, oh, no socks on, pedo. You are a pedo. Lad, You're also a gobshite. It's like that picture of them. Weak bladdered cunt. Them four dickheads who've got like the proper oh, tight yeah, t shirt yeah. on, proper tight jeans, no socks, and fucking. Little slip on fucking leather Soon shoes. Soon may the weatherman come. And yeah, like that, that guy jokes took the piss out of it on Insta for about four years, lad. They deserve the piss taken out of them for that long for wearing that rig out. Know what I mean? <laughs> What's you dressing up? So let's say you're going to like, not somewhere you'd wear a suit, right? Let's say you were going to, to Carl's birthday party next week, right? Let's say you were going to a birthday party in, it's in town. Oh, yeah. I nearly said the place then. Um, it's in town next week. So you're going to a fancy sort of, Bar slash function room. What would you wear? Could you, would you wear jeans? Jeans. Two um, dogs hoodie. Depends where I'm. I wouldn't wear a hoodie. It depends where I'm going. I'd, I'd, I've been to plenty of gaffs in like me on running stage, but yeah. probably if it was a proper party, I'd put me lambins on. Yeah. And then I'd have like me a t shirt. I don't really wear polos, mainly a t shirt with like me Prada jacket or me para jumper jacket. You know what I mean? Smart. So wouldn't be putting a shirt on. Smart casual, yeah. Yeah. Scout smart. Like, I yeah. wouldn't want to look like a studie. Studies have, like, proper tight ripped jeans on, shirts, and fucking shoes that make that noise when you're walking. <laughs> know what I mean? The little clip-ons. <laughs> what a war, there, you know? Yeah. Shoes like, shoes like Billy Elliot, lad. Know what I mean? So it's making, <laughs> making noise. You could do a tap dance in them. Fuck that. I leather some of the kids that come in our gym, like, because a lot of studies come to the gym, lad, and I have to head up the fucking wall. <laughs> Do that like it was funny the other day. The uh, ESPN would th- follow me for three days, and lad, they said to me, "Have you got a Have you got a vest to put on for the sit down interview?" I went, "Whoa, a vest!" I said, "Do you think I'm putting a vest on?" I went, "We don't get round like that down here, lad." A wife beater, <laughs> like a proper yeah. He said, "Put a vest on." I went, "Lad, I haven't. I don't own a vest. I'm not a helmet. I don't want to show <laughs> me shoulders and me arms off in the gym like uh, uh, like." If you wear a vest, you're a wanker. Correct. End of. Everyone's getting burnt alive, and I fucking love it. Ned you, you'd wear call. a vest, wouldn't you? What do you mean? <laughs> you'd wear a vest. Why like are, you, are you just calling me a wanker? <laughs> Is that basically what you, you like just vests? did? You've never seen me in a vest. You don't know that I wear a vest. I've never talked about wearing a vest. You've just gone, yeah, you're pissing me off today, Dan. You're a wanker, aren't no, you, Dan? No, no. You just <laughs> give off vest. I'm not saying do you're I a wanker. Fuck, give off vest. <laughs> In what way? You give off bad vest vibes. I could see you. Bit of pot noodle stain on it. A white vest. Like, I can see Stop it. Stop typecasting me in a really bad E4 drama. 
No, I've, ne- I've never worn a vest. Like, even these, if I went on the these Ultimate Fighter, the way they have their yeah, vest, I'd put a t-shirt on underneath because I'm not a woolly back. You know what I mean? You yep. can't, lad. If your postcode begins with L, lad, you can't wear a fucking vest. And white socks. white socks. Or are... white socks. White socks are illegal. End white of. White socks on now, but I've got trackies on. And a Nike. No, wool. Why am I? Just white socks Nike, in general. White Nike socks on. White yeah. socks with shorts. Another one as well, lad. And the Americans call it, lad. Chasing and blaze. Nike. If it was Nike, it'd have a Y on the end. It's Nike. Yeah. How do you pronounce bike? bike? Exactly. It's not bikey. Know what I mean? Go play it's, it in though. Bikey. How do you say like? It's not likey, is it? It's fucking Paddy like. It is to Paddy McGuinness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Fire. It's gone. It's gone. You in a vest, you fucking rat. <laughs> you just look like... You fucking You rat. look like you've got a vest on now under that. I know what he means. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Do you, you know what I mean, though? No, not because you're not I know stylish. Like a, like a thermal vest. Yeah. It's because you wear the shorts you wear and the, the pants. You've got the pants on. What? Show Paddy the bottom of your jeans. Yes, look, let me see. Let no, me the see. Pa- like the run up the just day. show Paddy the bottom of your jeans. The pants. Just get your like... Do you like flares or something? Yeah, they're bad, them. <laughs> I didn't say it. The fucking state of him. <laughs> the fucking state of you Them today. Them fold up, fellas. So, the, I have to. I've got such short legs. <laughs> I actually bought a pair of jeans that fit me from eBay. Someone had already taken them up. I bought 26 length Go to jeans, Levi's. They do and they for fit you. really nicely. That is basically year fucking eight <laughs> pants. And they fit me. I've got Go such to- short tubby jeans. Go but I've never jeans. worn a fucking vest. Fuck you. I'm going to say this. Fuck you, Paddy the Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that you'll trip over Last question. <laughs> you question. you know what I mean, though. I know it's because you're the dad. That's all. Yeah. What are you on about? It's yeah, dad vibes, isn't it? In Liverpool, you only pay. Like, I can imagine you mowing the lawn in dad. a vest and long. The only guns. type of people who can wear a vest are fucking babies under the age of seven. That's it. <laughs> you wear a vest after that age, fucking. You need putting in the bin. Stop looking at me, Adam! I've never worn a vest, you rat! I can picture you mowing the lawn in a vest. <laughs> Why? I just can. Can you not? I don't want just, to. Like, just do this. I don't me. want just to. Do this. <laughs> just put your hands out like that. It's not just, go, mm, just do that. He's going to hit you. You've ruined Carl's birthday for me. <laughs> <laughs> fucking rat. I'm going to wear the vest. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm doing the next episode in a fucking vest. You've turned the light off behind you, you know. Have what? Yeah. Oh, it's just got, it got kicked over. <laughs> oh, it's just, fuck, it's just been a lot, on it? It's been a lot. This was a, a visceral episode, shall we say? Shall we, um, shall we call it? Yeah. Um, we're going to be, we're going to be selling the Panda Pussy mugs at haveawordpod.com. <laughs> there's no more also, like agony, Adam, Have a word, have a word, best. Have you got any, you need advice on Paddy? Um... <laughs> Airbnb. Ah oh, no, fuck Airbnb, lad. They Instagram. Over. In- Instagram can fuck off as well, lad. It does me head in. Trolls can say what they like, lad. I fucking... I'm, I think I'm shadow banned at the minute, lad. Yeah. Because... Is your account still there? Yeah, luckily enough, it's not like the other week. Like, it got deleted. It just says, it's sti- you can still search me in. Yeah. You know what I mean? The other week it got deleted and you couldn't even type me in, lad. It wouldn't come up. Like, if you clicked on my name, it'd say using a fan. If you type me in and get me up now, it's still saying Paddy the Baddy UFC. Yeah. So I think I've just been shadow banned. <clears throat> but the whole reason that I've been shadow banned is put a post up of little baby Lee, young lad who's three years old, he's got a brain tumour, doing what I can to help him get his GoFundMe page out there, stuff like that. And some absolute piece of shit commented something about him. I'm not even going to say what it was because it's just horrible. So I reported the comments. And 30 minutes later, like, I don't even have my Insta signed in on my phone anymore. I signed it in on my missus's phone because I can't help myself on it. Yeah. And it come up, reports, blah, blah. This comment does not go against our community guidelines. We won't remove the comments. So, obviously, I fucking went bananas even more, terrorised them, DM'd them, gave them some shit. And, and then he, he, mu- you and and then he must have reported me. And I've been ba- I've I've been shadow banned, know what I mean? And like, it's just lad. Shadow banning's so weird because they leave your account up, and everyone can still find it if they search for it. But, but no your posts, posts just yeah. get 
like, no posts come up if you click on it. There's no like no posts come up. It tells how many people are following me, how many I'm following, and like no posts come up. Is it, I mean? temp- is it temporary? Is it like it a- fucking wants to be temporary, Dan lad? <laughs> wants to be temporary. Oh, you call or it after is- me next fight, lad? I'll be saying Mark Zuckerberg. I want you for me next fight, you little tramp oh, ass. Lad, call Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, I mean? after you calling fight. Instagram lizards was such a fucking great moment. Lad, like the, it, the, en- lad, the encourage trolling and harassment and bullying to people like myself and like you've probably had it as well. You've probably had it yourselves. But when we say something back, we're the ones that suffer from it. Know what I mean? Yeah. I've already had sponsors messaging me coach saying what's going on here, what's going on here. Know what yeah. I mean? Asking what what is going on with his account. I could lose sponsorships because of this because I'm defending a young child what can't defend himself. Like it's fucking ridiculous, lad. Since Facebook took over Instagram, it's turned into a piece of shit website, lad. And I, lad, and I know if I see Mark Zuckerberg now, I reckon I'd punch his fucking teeth in. He wears vests, doesn't he? Yeah, he wears vests oh, and white socks fucking, and fucking yeah, flip flops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. White socks and flip flops. His white socks pulled on up. His legs. I reckon he's got like a vest on each leg. <laughs> vest wearing nonsy cunt. It's such a random slam. <laughs> but how how hard we've gone in the paint today? He wears vests on his legs. <laughs> Get up from that. It's Lad. fucking great. It's uh, just, it's just do, you wanna, do you want us to put the GoFundMe page? We'll put the link in the description. Yeah, for the yeah, it's good. Put yeah. the, the GoFundMe page in there. Like like really cool. Come in the gym and watch me train the other day. Give Dana White his due. Dana White is a fucking legend. Apart from if he tries to get me paid off me. <laughs> Dana White's a legend. I'll have a message them saying, can, can I bring baby Lee on stage with me at the weigh-in? And he messaged me back within 10 minutes saying, of course, you can't. It'll be my pleasure and that. So you're going to do that, yeah? So I'm going to take him on stage with me, get his cause out there even more, Sick. try and get some money in for That's him, know what man. I mean? He's coming the fight and that. He watched me train the other day and he was just sitting there eating Dirty Lee Dunkers, lad. And it just made me day, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and then th- th- like the video I put up later that day, he's saying, oh, I love Paddy. And that's what this piece of shit commented on saying something about him. You know yeah. what I mean? Commented on it saying something about a Just, sick child, lad. Whenever I get like a message or an audible comment now, as hard as it is to do and they are cunts, I just go, how shit must their life be? That's, that's, lad, what, that's what I mean. need to put. As I say, I, wasn't have even, I wouldn't have even commented back to him. It was the fact that Instagram said this comment does not go against our community guidelines. How can you say that when someone's saying something so disgusting about a child who's fighting a fighting an illness, fighting for his life. How can Instagram say that that doesn't go against their guidelines? And when I call him a piece of dog shit and say, I hope the same happens to you, my That's comment, okay. that that goes against their guidelines. You know what I mean? Horrific, shite social media, and it's not going to get any better until stuff changes. Um, they, need a new, they need a new website. They need to make a new version of like Instagram, call it something else, and everyone can fuck Instagram off. Agreed. Mate, I've loved having you on. I wasn't here for the first one, and I'm gutted I missed it. Glad to have you on. Thanks for doing this. Good luck on the 19th. Saturday the 19th of March, you're fighting at UFC London. Yeah. Um, and I'd just like to end today's episode with you telling us what's going to happen. What's going to happen? A complete annihilation, lad. It's our last. Like, I feel sorry for my opponent, to be honest. 36-year-old fella. He's coming in to get his head smashed in. Um, Like, he's coming to London for a free holiday and a broken jaw. I reckon I'm going to beat him in half a round. First round? Yeah. Faster than I beat Luigi. Much less problems. You know what I mean? <laughs> I won't even take a, I reckon I won't even take a punch in this fight. First round annihilation, lad. Um, just to prove to everyone how much better fish and chips is than tacos. <laughs> <laughs> That's the 19th, and I imagine, lad, uh, a heavy victory in this one. Just like an explosive UFC debut last time out. I think uh, you're going to be the main event at the next... Next show in the UK, they know who the fucking boy is, lad. They just can't put me in the main event so soon above rank fighters. Next day, next show that's in the UK, hopefully I get them to come to Anfield and we fucking... Oh, my God. It'll go off. We'll open. I want to do... That, that's the one I want to go to. <laughs> Amen. Yes, please. Uh, um, pleasure, lad. Amazing. Paddy is on all social media for now. Uh, <laughs> you can go and find them. Uh, watch his fight on the 19th. This is... Uh, it's... It's a genuine honour to have him in the studio. All right, he's a scouse lad and he lives around the corner and we went to the same school and that, but this is the next MM, the, the current and the next MMA superstar um, and to have him in the studio is an honour. As you know, I'm on tour. Dan's on tour. Adamrow.co.uk forward slash shows. Dannightingale.com. Yep. 
for your tickets. Um, Sign up to the Patreon, patreon.com slash have a word pod for loads of shit, but the roast is on its way. 4th of March. It was an unbelievable night in the room. The special, we've already seen the teasers, is incredible. From three quid a month, you can gain access to the best Patreon in the fucking game. Thanks very much to everyone, as always. Fuck off. Panda pussy. (laughs) 